You stole my line, Raiden. Kept you waiting, huh? Sup? Happy Sneezter, everybody. It's a Sneezter miracle. How you doing? Alexander Fuck Hamilton. Off. Thanks for the Alexander Hamilton. How many times can I say Alexander Hamilton? Alexander Hamilton. Oh. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alexander Hamilton. Alex. Thank you. Thank you for the hype train. Thank you for the hype. Thank you for being here. It's been a, a bit since MGS2. How you doing? Um, very excited. Can you tell I made a bunch of emotes? There's actually there's actually one more emote that I need to add. I wanted to roll out the red carpet for it. Um, so you have to bear with me as I as I make it live. Um, why is Barrel not in a box? You know, MGS3 only has the one box. It's not a box-heavy game. Also, I can't turn every emote into an MGS variant, can I? Can I? Anyway, um, I think it's three. Does it? Does it really? Whatever. I, it's you're mostly in a jungle. <laughs> Cardboard boxes are suspicious in the jungle. Um. But uh, if, you've, if you've never seen this game before, I hope you're excited to dive into this madness. If you have seen it before, I hope you enjoy revisiting it with me. I adore this game. It's my favorite in the series. And for good reason. This game's great. It's the best one. It's so good. It's also perhaps the most self-contained one other than... No, not even Metal Gear Solid. It's maybe the first Metal Gear is the most self-contained. Nice. But um, let me, um, let me quickly... Uh, boot off an emote and make room for this other guy. I mentioned I wanted to... wanted to give it the special attention that I'm very happy with how this turned out. So... Uh... There it is. You might need a refresh for it to show up. Um... What a thrill. Who's getting bopped, right? I had to bop a lot to make room. I'm gonna give it a sec. I'm gonna give a second. It takes a second to percolate through the servers. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Snake snacks. There he is. There he is. There's the boy. There he is. <laughs> I, uh. I, uh. If you've never seen this game before, that won't make any sense. But don't worry, it will. Uh, you're pretty good. Attention like this. I love to reload and during a battle. Um, just in time. Well, I was like two more. I mean, I like every game in the series in varying amounts for different reasons. I just think three is the most just consistently good. And like to me, what this whole series could be. I mean, they're all very different games, but long show for me. It's gonna take a sec. I literally just talked about it, so just give it a minute. Anyway, um, welcome, welcome. Uh, let me get cop alert so we can hop into this video game. Um, thank you. It it should it should sync with yeah it should sync with the regular meow, which was a lot more difficult than it should have been. But anyway, um, meow. Look at my finger. Look at that. There it is. Uh, don't need those. Don't need those. Don't need those. Hey, um, what happened? Um, I don't need that. Um, this video game right here, MGS3 and or just Metal Gear series in general, was recommended. Uh, the regular Mia is a BTTV emote. So that'll only show up on your this d device if you have BTTV installed. I have the board. So, consume bitey rope. Yeah, we're gonna. Someone said Snake Easter, and I'm not gonna say I planned that because I didn't. I forgot it was Easter. <laughs> Happy Easter, everybody. Uh, MGS3 was recommended. I streamed by Grim Scott Hydra, Slownick, Rasby, Anonymous. And anonymous, and anonymous, and I think a fourth anonymous. My name is unimportant. Odysseus, Massivane, uh, 
Thank you, Constable. Humongous Ego, Unimaginative Peanut, Ringus Tingus, Arcas88, and Jedica. Additionally, specifically the 3DS version was recommended by Quentin Kiwi. I've never pl I played the demo of the 3DS one at E3. Nice. I think it was like when I first played the 3DS when it was first shown at E3. I think MGS3 is one of the games they had in the little demo booth. Um, but I never played the full release. I, w I wanted to play it, <laughs> not on the DS. I don't know. I'm curious, but not enough to actually play it. Um, but thank you for recommending it. Also, uh, Duke recommended that I stream the Metal Gear Solid 3 Pachinko Machine. But A, I'm not in Japan. And B, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? Thank you. Uh, and also in between streams, the Man Dog resub for 30 months. Enjoy your ski. Thank you. My one-year-old niece found my phone and navigated your stream. Oh, no worries. Your, your, your message is flagged first-time chats. I don't think she posted anything. But no worries, regardless. You wouldn't be the first person to post some keyboard smash into my Twitch.tv chat. Don't worry about it. No, I never had a PSP or a Vita. So I never played the Acid Games. I never played Peace Walker, even though it's included with this HD collection. I did the first mission, was like, neat, and then never went back to it. Um, so I haven't played any of the, like, original handheld Metal Gears. I've played the numbered Metal Gears. No, the m numbered Metal Gear Solids, I should say. I haven't played much of Metal Gear 1 or 2. Don't really want to. The website stealth optional called MGS3 the worst MGS game, which means whoever wrote that article is a dumb-dumb and the size nonsense. They're called stealth optional, and they're revealing a stealth game. Which, to be fair, it's a stealth game where stealth is optional, but... Yeah, that's a strange shape. Strange choice. The game with Ghost Babble? Hi, Alst, how you doing? Thank you for that key smash. For Gragvid. Metal Gear Solid Pisswasser. I read that first as Metal Gear Solid Passover and was like, oh. I mean, it is. Um, just want people to say it. Well, I, 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 I will get... Before we hop in the game, I will do a quick recap. Uh, here's the very fast recap. This game's the earliest game in the timeline, so no recap is necessary. But also, it's called Metal Gear Solid 3, so, you know, don't worry about it. Um, Happy Snasso! Bring- open the door for the snake Elijah to slither in. Leave an empty seat at the table for the snake to just kind of whoop up at the table. You know, it's good. Um, Ghost Babble Super- I've heard good things about Ghost Babble, actually. But. Is this Kingdom Hearts for straights? That might be the best, the best summary of Metal Gear I've ever heard. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I, I need a second to process that. I mean, I mean, you're not wrong, but there, there are some beefy bromances in this saga that, that, that get their, their time to shine. Um, so I don't know. You're not wrong, but also you're like a little wrong. There's plenty of room for, for fun here. Not implying that the straights can't be fun, you know? Or the straights, all right. Ah, <laughs> uh, some beef beef romances. It does get pretty gay at times, it does. Yeah. I'm just thinking about some of the stuff that happens in this game, like, well, we'll get to that. Um, isn't Otacon in this? No, he hasn't been born yet. This game takes place in the 60s, we'll get to that. Let me get caught up on alerts, and then I'll, I'll talk about what's going on with this video game. This is Monkey Skunky. So, Onsta. Onsta? Onsta? So, when this game was released, they had an Ape Escape mini game in the video game. Okay? It's called Snake vs. Monkey, and it's literally Ape Escape monkeys running around the jungle. In HD edition, they removed Snake vs. Monkey. Because this was multi platform, and Ape Escape is owned by Sony. That said, I did buy this off of eBay, a PS2 copy of Subsistence, which contains Snake vs. Monkey. So, not today, but maybe at some point we can boot that up and chase some monkeys around. Believe me, I did my homework for this. We will have some monkey -a skunk. Just, uh, maybe after we beat the game and we're all sad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. uh, thanks for the five gifted subs, Austin. Awesome. Yeah, shit. Fuck. Did you know you're my hero? You're welcome. You're welcome. You know what? I, I care. I care. 
Uh, anyway, we're not doing that today. I just want to play MGS3, but but we will monkey a skunky at some point during this playthrough. I promise you. Um, I tested it already. I even freaked out because uh, Subsistence was the special edition release. It has two discs. When, the, when I first bought it, I even messaged the eBay seller and was like, this is Subsistence with two discs, right? And they're like, yep. And then they mailed me MGS3 with one disc. And I was like, I wanted the one with two discs. So then they sent me this one. And then I put the disc in, and there was no monkey skunking. I'm like, where the fuck is it? It's on the second disc. I don't know why I thought it'd be on the main, the main disc. So, it was a whole... It was a whole thing. Anyway. Was there Melgear Tonyak mode? Yes. Uh, Melgear Solid 2 Substance, the special release of MGS2, had a... It wasn't Tonyak, it was... What was the name of it? It was a, a different skateboarding series by Konami that was, like, trying to compete with Tony Hawk. But it was, like, that engine that they then slapped Melgear assets into. The heck is this emote? Don't worry about it. If you've never seen MGS3, all of the emotes that I've made for MGS3 make sense, even if you don't think they do. You just wait, and you'll be like, I got it. Evolution Skateboarding. Yes, I never played it, but... Yeah, but it's basically fun. Right? You'll know. You'll know. Listen, you'll be grateful. You'll be thanking me for making that emote in, like, an hour, hour and a half. How far... It's not that far before he shows up. Whatever. Uh, Psycho X8, thanks for 29 months. I hope everyone had a Sunday. Ben Hacker, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. That's practically a year. You said it. Milky Pork, thanks for 28 months. What a thrill with darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. I'm searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. And then it's Snake in his cam in his supreme camouflage with the supreme logo wrap. Hmm. Surely someone's made that, right? But you're so supreme. And he's he's wearing the hoodie. G with Goku. Anyway. Ah, uh, Winter Rose, thank you. For soup month, 64 months. Holy hell. A Minecraft stack of months. That's a soup sub. Is that the first soup sub? The soup or the salad. Goku drip.mp3. You can hear the drip. It's just it's just water dripping into a sink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got the drip. Distant sounds of Goku charging. Snake drop has to exist. Snake drop. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a halo drop. Uh, da, 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 da. Winter Rose, thank you for the soup months. Uh, the cast, thanks for 44 months. What's wrong? Barry. Barry. Ah. Thank you. It exists. Oh, shit. What a fear in my heart. But you're so supreme. But... I love that it's like the Yoji Shikawa art style for it. it's not just what I would have done, which is way shittier. That's excellent. <laughs> That's really good. Cyberspace Gatics for 48 months. That's four years. Enjoy your key card. Meow is in Russian. Meow. Thank you very much. Hinakiku Art, thanks for 28 months. Kojima Nonsense. This is. I was going to say this is peak Kojima nonsense, but it's not. Maybe that's why I like it so much. There's a lot of there's a lot of Kojima nonsense in here. But it's like I don't know, it's in a way that I like it. And I, yeah, MGS4 is like 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 MGS3 feels like, "Whoa, that's some nonsense." And then you crest the top of the hill and see Mount Everest. And that's MGS4. Like I I I feel like in, in streaming this this series, I get to be like, wow, look, MGS1, MGS2, MGS3, these games are great. MGS4 is going to be like, a, listen, we need to get through this as a community. We, we will get through this together. <laughs> like, it is such a weird time. Uh, just from the get-go. Um, so we'll we'll get to that. It does have robots with sexy legs that, that moo and piss violently. Yeah, it's got that. Exactly. Exactly, Flavir. Absolutely, exactly. Because Revengeance was not developed by Kojima Productions, um, so it's technically not canon. But it might as well be. It doesn't break anything elsewhere in the timeline, and it's just become such a meme machine. So we will uh, we'll do Revengeance on stream at some point. I don't know where. What fucked me up was I thought Peace Walker came out between three and four, but Peace Walker came out after four. Even though Peace Walker is the direct sequel to Snake Eater. So I'm like, in my brain, I'm like, does it make sense to do Peace Walker after the... We can talk about that later. Whatever. 
Um, but things I've been thinking about. Is it fantastic? I don't really know. It's it's Kamiya nonsense, right? He's happy it's part of the timelines where Colossus and Miss Merman. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think he's anything. I mean, because he was. My understanding is that they were making revengeance. Kojima and his team were making revengeance, and were like, we can't make this work, and had basically canceled it without announcing publicly it was canceled. And then he was getting lunch with Kamiya or someone from Platinum, and they're like, how's that going? And he's like, we basically can't make it work. And he's like, can we try? And that's how it happened. It was like. They had basically given up on making it, and Platinum was like, I'll take the case. And then they did a great fucking job with it. We can thank Kamiya for a lot of bullshit. Of course the gear is solid. It's made of metal. I've never played these games. You're, everything you said is correct. Great trailer for a mid-game. They worked on it. Right. Minus thing is that Platinum was the main developer, and Kojima Productions was like supplemental support. Except this. Thank you. The revenge. The revenge soundtrack is exceptional. And near. Platinum just doesn't. Well, I was gonna say they don't miss. Most of the games I played by Platinum, I'm like, there's something here that's interesting, even if I don't fully click with it myself. Anyway, um, and I'm fine numbers. Thanks for 100 bits, Raiden. Thank you for 100 bits. Kept you waiting, huh? Sikari, thanks for 50 months. Rosebud Wolf with a hammy. Who put this box here? Pull my shoe, thanks for 49 months. Our party just won a hard encounter in D&D. Also, hi, how are you? Congrats. Hope it well. I mean, it sounds like it went well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. The, Coach Pro wrote the game. Oh, okay. I did not know that. I thought that he was just kind of like, go nuts with it. And they were like, okay. And then he had feedback. Then realized it was more hands on, hands on with that. One game closer to watching a movie. Mm-hmm. MGS4 has, I think, a 70-minute cutscene at the end of it. This game has some long cutscenes, but I think MGS4 is the record. Uh, Shambling Mound, thanks for 13 months. Console links for two gifted subs to CRO2 Pika and Vitalizer. Tasty Cactus, thanks for 16 months. Mario Let's A Go voice. Why, why did you make him say that? I'm gonna replay this alert. Why did you make him say that? Tasty Cactus in a Mario voice. Is that a spoiler for the Mario movie? I haven't seen it yet. Does he put on his his sweatshirt? The faces on it. Penguinishka, thanks for the prime. Welcome to the last enjoy the emotes. We got a whole bunch of MGS3 emotes for the occasion. I hope you enjoy them. Why not? Hmm. Mario double peace sign. Octo, is that you? Ben 10, do this. Thank you for 14 months. Time needs some snakes in HD. We are. I mean, I could have just done the whole thing with subsistence, but in in testing it, I'm like. It is 4x3 and extra crunchy, which, I mean, I never played Subsistence. We had the original MGS3 release when it first came out on PS2. So that's the MGS3 I think of when I think of it, even though I have done a playthrough of an HD collection. But Yakuza is in third at 42 minutes. That's long. But isn't MGS4's cutscene literally like 70? Like, it's not even close. It's like well over an hour of pure cutscenes. Brainless thing! Yeah, no, no, no jokes, folks hour and a half that's nonsense it's in it, it and it feels like it's 71 minutes <laughs> especially after all the other bullshit of that game you're just sitting there like it's like when you're watching the extended it, it's like it feels like when you're watching the, the extended editions of the lord of the rings trilogy all in one sitting and then you're getting to the end of return of the king where there's just 18 different like fades to black and fades to white where you're like oh it's over and they just cut to another scene and you're like melting your chair like i want to be done this feels like work now. Like that's that's the end of MGS4. Is like I is this done yet? So much. Star Ocean is number two at 46. Yeah, MGS4 is 71 minutes, and the second one, second place is 46 minutes. That's nonsense. And then Death Stranding is number four. Like leave it to Kojima. He likes his cutscenes. That's nonsense. Anyway, we're not doing MGS4 yet, so we have time. Space and love. Thanks for two months. Enjoy your bronze key. Welcome back. Bar oop. Limestone, six for six and a bits. Hype train. Uh, um, uh, uh, I do like that song, but yeah, there you go. Looking for the madness. Thank you, Weird Dane. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for watching the VODs. Uh, Astro the Font, thanks for 60 months. Five years. Enjoy your Kiwi key. And a tier two. Happy Easter. Snake has risen from the dead. He popped up. Tinta now, thanks for 10 months. I can finally sub again. Welcome back. Thank you. Average Jonah, thanks for 11 months. LFG. Love this game so much. Main Moxies. 
Thanks for five months. MG3, let's go. The singing host turtle. Thanks for nine. Enjoy your Ruby key. Thanks for the prime. Oh, sub baby. Monster, thanks for 46 months. Holland Oats voice. He's a snake eater. Oh, here he comes. Watch out, boy. Here he comes. And there's just the snake panicked slithering. Here he comes. It's chasing after him. Console, thanks for two gift head subs. Do X3 pulls stuffed X and U Sildry for their fourth month. Welcome back. Thank you, Console. Ryan's a turd. Thanks for 16 bits. Been feeling super blah this weekend. Been watching all the hitting men streams. So funny. Thanks for the happy and chat thanks as well. I'm sorry for the blah weekend, Ryan's a turd. But I hope some video game shenanigans helps a little bit. FF14 has two 40 minute cutscenes that finish off the first expansion back to back. Yowza. It's a lot. Thank you, Godslow. Appreciate it. Here he comes. Abkinesis, thanks for a year. Enjoy your mildly cursed key And Corvalon, also a year. She hingus on my bunger till I'm six feet hunger. Is that death by Snoo Snoo? Phase on Kiwi, thanks for our bits. This game's my favorite boss ever, Ladder. Mm hmm. Yeah, the, I love the rogues gallery in this game. All, all the thes. You got you got the, the the pain, the fear, the fury, the sorrow, the ladder, the end. They're all they're all here. And they're all great. The strongest emotions. Like fear and ladder. They're all present and accounted for. I like that in the speedruns of this game, the ladder is takes longer. In most speedruns I've seen of MGS3, the ladder has its own separate split. And it takes longer than most boss fights. Because they have strats to just annihilate every boss in the game. And then the ladder is like, just gotta wait. What is this? Hey, Reb. Um, if you don't understand why I made Awesome Ya, just stick around for like an hour after I start the game. And then you'd be like, oh, 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 there's a reason for it. Sir Squirrel. Thanks for five gifted subs. The Edgar Ware, Frozen Peaches, Soda Pop Girl, Sir Dan, and Mother Duck and Queen. Appreciate it. You will. It's perfect. I'm glad. It's the first time I've really done like frame by frame animation, and I'm, even though it's essentially a rotoscope of Mia, you know, I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Kind of they never find a ladder skip. I, <laughs> it's it's like it's like the Wind Waker barrier skip. It's like if there was just the way to get through this part. It's like, yeah, it's great. Uh, thank you for the gifted subs as well, Odsta. To Sawanos, Maori9998, NPC Mimic, Lolcats, Peterson, and Zoid FA. Blue Abomination, thanks for 23 months. Dragons Jack, thanks for 40. Metal Gear Gaming, Kojima's Madness Edition. Nerf thanks for 10 bits. Did your Nintendo release the Passover themed Smash character as well as their Echo Fighter, Moses and Shadow Moses? And then if you if you if you grab him, he says, "Let my people go." I'm trying to think of a guess the end of that. My brain shot down. Oh man, his special text would just be plagues. It'd be fucking rad. Moses would be a great Smash fighter. <laughs> That's not good, Snail. Ah, beautiful Joe. Oh, beautiful Joe's great. Shadow Moses is evil. Yeah. He says, please take my people. <laughs> Let my people stay. Uh, Donkey Kong Coyote, thanks for 11 months. Of course the gear is solid. It's made of metal. Thank you. Joe Sketchy, thanks for 45 months and a 2-2. Barry! Smeevka, thanks for 29 months. Usually VOD Watcher here for MGS3. This is a stream, huh? Nice. Thank you. Brainless! Thanks for 500 bits. I already watched so many people play the MGS games. I'm still excited to see an MGS stream. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're excited. And Ringus Tingus, thanks for 62. You finally started this and I have to work. Looking forward to watching the VOD and seeing how many of the jokes you make you made during Kitty Cat Gaming get said again. Probably 100% of them. I, I would be surprised if I have any new thoughts in my brain. But thank you. Soul Sasquatch, thanks for 21 months. Been waiting a long time for this. Let's go. Thank you. And Dr. Verbs, thanks for a year and a half. Mel Gear, I hardly even know her. Enjoy my other Chris Calvin Keith. Thank you. Let my people stay. They have jobs, breakfast, they lay on their own. Uh, in case you didn't see why Beautiful Joe came out, I'm real proud of this collection. I did not see what... Whoa. Nice. You got them all. You have every Metal Gear Solid game, including Beautiful Joe. That's great. Everyone's here. My favorite... My favorite Metal Gear game. Sonic Gems Collection. 
See, I, I would do this with some of my game's collection, but I just like having it by console. So I, I just can't let myself gather things by franchise. It is cool, though. It just... <laughs> where's where's your box copy of Sonic Dreams collection? Uh, so. So, well then. Gen Raven, it's 38 months. Excited for more Snake. Think you'll play, fan play Phantom Pain at some point. I don't know. Um, it's strange because it's... It, 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 I, I haven't touched Phantom Pain since I beat it. But at the time, I remember my, my, my feelings on it being this is one of the best stealth games I've ever played. One of the best open world games I've ever played. I really got into the sandbox they built with that game. But as a Metal Gear game, I have extremely complicated mixed feelings about it. And also, it's really long compared to the other games in the series. All these other games are like maybe a handful of streams to get through. That one would be like weeks to get through that whole game so i don't know i would definitely be interested in doing ground zeros and like the beginning of phantom pain and then i don't know grinding through missions off streamers i don't know maybe it would, it would turn into podcast mode and i just have people hang out and we just talk and i run around and do stuff it, i don't know um because i also don't know if there would just be this sustained interest in just like more phantom pain <laughs> just here i go it depends, you know, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it, but, um, did five need to exist? No, no, I, I, I don't want to get into it. Cause there'll be another hour before I start playing MGS three, but it, it's a, uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, most of the actual plot comes from like audio diaries in that game and they're very dry. Um, and most of the plot that you get is not that good. <laughs> In fact, there's some things I remember from MGS5 that like retroactively explain things from other games in the series. And I'm like, you didn't even need to do that. It was fine before. So it's it's strange. I don't know. But the non-solid Metal Gears, I don't plan to, no. Um, talking about like, yeah, just any like the 2D ones or something or Acid. I don't, I don't plan to. I kind of just want to stick to the main solid games. Just play the ch chat the cheeseburger one. Yeah, just the highlights. Exactly. They're on subsistence, which is. Well, I already forgot what we we're talking about. MG. Oh, it's me. It's me. Kept you waiting, huh? Bam. Just play Mary Gear slot. Yeah. Just have that going in the corner. Revengeance. Revengeance is like the only non-solid game that I plan to stream at some point. What you like about MGS5? I mean, again, I haven't played it since it came out. Um, it's a weird game. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. The MSX Metal Gears. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yes, they are an HD collection. Um, but yeah, I probably won't. I don't plan to. I mean, they're, they're cool. I just, I don't, I'm not as excited to play them, you know? Sorry, some nonsense. It, yeah. MGS with zombies. Well, there was, so after MGS5, there's the three second breakdown. MGS5 had an extremely tumultuous development cycle that ended with Kojima being booted out the door. And then he made his own independent studio and made Death Stranding and stuff. And then Konami went, hey, we invest all this time and money to making this brand new engine just to run this one game. What else can we do with it? So they made Metal Gear Survive, which is like a base building survival zombie thing. I don't really know. I don't think anyone played it. And everyone was just kind of mad at Konami for trying to make a weird Metal Gear thing without Kojima that was a clear just asset flip. People were just not really into it. I was morbidly curious about it, but it was like, I, I, it just doesn't look that good. So I'm glad, Doc. Thank you. There's a reason Survive is in the collection. Yeah, it's not a complete collection. They charge 10 bucks for an extra save slot. That's right. Holy shit. Hi, Tintinosh. Happy Easter. Oh. Those those Easter eggs look special. Hmm. There they go. Most goes was on the MGS5 engine. Yeah, the, I mean, the MGS5 engine and the Fox engine was was a good engine it ran well and looked good and the, the again the gameplay and mechanics of the sandbox were really fun at five but where are we going he's going to stream uh cobalt thanks for 13 months hi have fun with snake game i will thank you 
Let's play that snake game. Uh, so, uh, 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 this is MGS3. And now, of course, even though it's MGS3 with a three at the end, uh, it is the earliest game in the timeline. This is a prequel. So remember MGS1, you were Solid Snake. After the events of Metal Gear 1 and 2, he's basically retired and dog sledding and living his best life. And he's dragged back for one last mission. You're like, you gotta, hey, your clone brother Liquid's here and all this stuff. And then you blow everyone up. Um, and then MGS2, Ocelot shows up. He was part of the, the guys in MGS1, um, got his hand chopped off by Cyborg Ninja. And MGS2, he shows up. His hand has been replaced with Liquid Snake's hand, and he's been, like, possessed by Liquid Snake. Sometimes, it, I don't know what's happening. Don't worry about it. Um, and MGS2, you play as Raiden, and you sneak into a waste treatment facility set up to clean up an oil spill. That's the prologue of the game. And you learn that it's all a front, and actually, it's hiding the construction of Arsenal Gear, which is this giant... The fortress that that is under the water and is designed to control information because Kojima knew what the future would be in 20 years with memes and data and information and it's fucking terrifying to play MGS2 nowadays um so and then uh yeah by the end of that game um you learn from the president in MGS2 that basically that the Metal Gear series has its own version of the Illuminati called the Patriots. And they're the ones who are pulling the strings and doing all this weird shit. They're making an AI that can control the flow of information and you try to stop them. Um, no, I've played this game several times before. It's just been a couple years since I last played it, so... It'll be... relatively fresh for me. Um, but, uh... It's not Kingdom Hearts levels of convoluted, it just is... It's told... These stories get told in a way that's convoluted, but then the ultimate plot is relatively straightforward. Uh, in my opinion. It's not like Kingdom Hearts where like half the shit is metaphor but taking literally and you're like, wait, what? Wait, that's that's a real thing you're talking about? Like, it's much more... And just 3 is grounded silly pants. It's like borderline magic realist military fiction where it's just, oh, the uh, warring nations and then a layer of nonsense where fortune can bend rockets and prevent them from hitting her. But whatever. At the end of MGS2, you basically learned that the Patriots were trying to mask their own information using Arsenal gear. So they're using the, this virus that Otacon's sister made. And they're like, okay, we got the names of the Patriots. That was our goal. So we can stop them because they're fucking crazy and the Illuminati, basically. Um, and then at the very end of MGS2, they're like, wait, we got the names of all the Patriots, but they all died a hundred years ago. And you're like, what? How, what? How does that make sense? And then MGS3 is like, hey, guess what? It's a prequel, but it's not 100 years ago. It's like 50 years ago in the 60s. And it's like, but how is this? That's like the one question. Because MGS2 very clearly was launching off to be like, well, now we got to find out what's going on with the Patriots. And and there's all these weird, loose threads. And then 3 is like, we're going to the Cold War. And you're going to be in the jungle. And it has almost nothing to do with the other games. Um, but the main thing perhaps of note is that when they were first teasing MGS3 um they, they, uh, people started theory crafting based on the fact that it was like the technology looked older and there was there was a lot of stuff in the, in the trailers that was like this seems different than the other games um and uh uh it, spoilers not spoilers but you're not playing a solid snake in this game uh you're big boss on his first mission so that's where it makes sense. Yeah. Um, because Big Boss was your commanding officer in Metal Gear 1, who ended up being the bad guy and responsible for Metal Gear, and then you blow him up. And then Metal Gear Solid was about trying to get Big Boss's remains and stuff. Um, so we're not going to get into anything that is, like, revealed in this game. It's basically just, like, if you're like, wait, what's Snake doing? Snake is a clone of Big Boss. That's why they look the same. Uh, and you just happen to be playing it as as Big Boss around the same age as Solid Snake as the other one, yeah, it's fine. Um, but yeah, this is, it's, 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 so uh, if you remember anything going in this game, just remember the Patriots died a hundred years ago and then eventually somehow became in control of the whole world. But honestly, that doesn't matter and it's not really what the game's about. So 
That was a lot of words for me to say, don't worry about it, just enjoy the ride, because it's relatively self-contained for this franchise, even though it's got a big three at the end. Yeah, he's big, big boss baby boss. He's big boss baby. Cause he's, cause he's, cause he's young. He's not big boss yet. So, assistant branch manager. This game's about friendship. Yeah. Somehow the Patriots return. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The entire series. Don't worry about it. That honestly, yes. Yeah. You don't need a pre-existing knowledge of conspiracy to jump into this one. No, no. I think it does help you connect some dots a little quicker that they do eventually spell out, but. I mean, you'll see in Kojima fashion, he likes to show you PowerPoint slides and talk over them to explain plot details. Um, and, and, and it just, a lot of it you can just make you turn off your brain. But if you already have some context, I think some of that can go a little smoother. But yeah. Big boss, baby girl boss. Yes, correct. Anyway, uh, Space Lucky Best 50 Bits. On Good Friday, I announced I in a friend Discord server that I'm going to see the Mario movie after church. And my friends declared it the best sentence of 2023. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed Church and the Mario movie equal amounts. Thank you. And Fox Vacation, thanks for 55 months. 55. Did I miss the song? No. No, that's that's actually in a little bit. Um, okay, enough fucking preamble. Let's get in here. Um, I don't know what a good volume is. I mean, I want it kind of loud so you can get the, get the, the jams. Joshua White, thanks for 25. I missed the online from this. I never played Metal Gear Online in any of its incarnations. It always looked really neat. I like the idea of it, but I never actually got into it. Um, let's go. That's Snake's catchphrase. Kept you. Let's go, huh? Let's a, let's a let's a go. What really messes me up playing this on the PS3 version is um Metal Gear Solid's one, two, and three. I'll use the circle button for select and the X button for back out. Uh, but they made it the modern convention for the remake or for the HD version. Uh, not a remake, remaster, I guess. Uh, so X. I, every time I play this game and see this menu, I'm like, I have to put my thumb on circle and press that to select things. And it just, it doesn't. You gotta, it's it's great. Um, remember transferring? <laughs> Go look up with the Mega64 video about transferring. It was, they, 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 they worked with Mega64 to announce this feature that's essentially a proto version of cloud saves. <laughs> like, it was just a little bit ahead of its time of transferring a save between the PS3 and, and the Vita, I think. Um, they call, Kojima called it transferring. We're playing on European Expert, right? No! No, I'm playing on normal. Um, I like MGS3. What 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 what, do you, what game do you like? Hey, Reorganist, thanks for 50 months. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. Um, if you've never played this game before and you're prompted with this, it's extremely confusing because the game does. I'm not picking. I'm just two. <laughs> um, if you pick, I'm playing MGS just series for the first time. The, the nothing's different. If you pick M just one, I think you get a boost to stamina or stamina recovery. MGS2 changes the opening cutscene slightly, and MGS3 gives you bonus goodies. So I'm picking MGS3. Um, but yeah, you have to just Google it. It like why would why would mm. I'm doing normal. Normal's plenty for me, thank you. Not that European Extreme is brutal. I'm not. Normal. Let's go. My PS3 sounds like it's taking off. I'm glad you can't hear it. After the end of World War II. The world was split into two, East and West. This marked the beginning of the era called the Cold War. East and West. I like my Europeans normal. <laughs> Thank you. History class, whoa. Turn down a smidge. Kojima, who's that? I'm not gonna do it, but you can zoom in to the cutscenes with the pressure-sensitive triangle button with that the PS2 and PS3 had. The PS2 and 3 had pressure-sensitive face buttons that no games used except for Metal Gear. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Flying over Pakistan, altitude 30,000 feet. Approaching Soviet airspace. 
Yeah. 20 minutes to drop off. Okay. An MGS 2 and 3, I think. You press the square button right. to ready your weapon. You ready to go. Drop zone and if you let go of square now. slowly enough, he okay. releases it without firing. Good. If you release it quickly, then he fires. It's just... Anyway. Grabbing dudes. If you hold it lightly, you can choke this push through you murder them. Mm hmm Something like that. Gran Turismo used them, huh? I mean, I'm sure it wasn't just this game. Connecting oxygen hose to interior connector. Dude smoking a cigar on a plane. Put on your it really mask. is the 60s. Melting ice cubes? That was MGS2. Does this panty waste know what he's doing? Approaching release point. Ten minutes to drop off. Hey, are you deaf? He said put out the cigar and put on your mask. He's already got his kitty cat face paint on. Tactical mullets. Depressurization complete. Checking oxygen supply. Six minutes to drop off. Opening rear hatch. Sunrise. I fucking love this OSD. Shit. Temperature minus 46 degrees Celsius. Two minutes to drop off. Stand up. This blew my mind seeing this on the PS2. You'll be falling at 130 miles per hour. Try not to get frostbite from the wind chill. One minute to drop off. Move to the rear. Activate the alarm bottle. This is one for the history books. The world's first halo jump. Ten seconds to drop off. Stand by. Status okay, all green. Prepare for drop off. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. His hat says snake eater on it. Hey, that one for. Is it R1? What's this game called? Oh, that's who it was directed by. I, I, I remembered something like text. I was like, oh. Thanks, Jack, Kojima. I've got some important news. Woo! The head of the CIA has finally given us the green light for the virtuous mission. Virtual mission? No, the virtuous mission. The future of our Fox unit depends on it. If it succeeds, we'll be officially organized into a unit. Virtuous mission? Sounds Snakes, like are you listening to virtual. anything I'm saying? You know, don't get cocky. This isn't a training op. Right. So what exactly is this wonderful mission? Well, about two years ago, a Stock certain footage. Soviet scientist requested asylum in the West. Pay attention, this is important. One of our moles. His name is Nikolai Stepanovich Sokolov. He's head of the OKB754 Design Bureau, one of the Soviet's top secret weapon research facilities and the East's foremost expert on weapons development. Sokolov, isn't he that famous rocket scientist? The very same. On April the 12th, 1961, the Soviets achieved the first manned space flight in history. The Earth was blue, but there was no God. Well spoken. The rocket that carried Yuri Gagarin to orbit was the A-1, known as the Vostok rocket. Sokolov is said to be the man most responsible for the multi-engine cluster used in that rocket. After Gagarin's flight, Sokolov left rocket development to become the head of the newly established Design Bureau. From a lowly technician to head of a Design Bureau, that's quite a success story. So why do you want to defect? It seems he'd become afraid of his own creations. Afraid? Call it a crisis of conscience. And for that, he left his country and his family behind and went over the fence? Not exactly. One of his conditions was that his family was also to be taken safely to the West. We used a mole to get the family out first and succeeded in sneaking Sokolov over the Berlin Wall shortly afterwards. 
I was the one who conducted the operation. The security on the eastern side was still full of holes back then. Then what? We got Sokolov over in one piece, one but piece. the whole ordeal had left him exhausted, and we checked him into a hospital in West Berlin. It took him two weeks and more than 600 miles to get from the research facility this is better than Oppenheimer. to Berlin. He was in no condition to say anything coherent. And it was only a week later that we had something much bigger on our hands. The Cuban Missile Crisis. October the 16th, 1962, President Kennedy received word that the Soviets were in the process of deploying intermediate-range ballistic missiles in Cuba. The President demanded that the Soviets dismantle and remove the missiles. None of this matters for the Same game, by the way. He announced a naval blockade to prevent further missile shipments from reaching Cuba. We gotta get Sokolov, that's the only but thing the you Soviets need to know. the Soviets didn't back down, instead placing their armed forces on secondary alert. Soviet transport ships carrying missiles continued on course towards Cuba. U.S. and Soviet forces went on alert for an all-out all nuclear man. war. Frantic it's negotiations context. were conducted through the UN's Emergency Security Council and unofficial channels to end the hair-trigger standoff. Yeah, Finally, says, yeah. on October the 28th, and the, the Soviet Union agreed to remove its missiles from Cuba. And so the world avoided a nuclear holocaust. But in order to get the Soviets to pull their missiles out, we had to make a deal. You mean the one where the U.S. agreed to remove its IRBMs from Turkey? No. The Jupiter IRBMs deployed in Turkey were obsolete. And we were going to get rid of them anyway. I know ICBM. What's IRBM? Had no strategic value whatsoever to either the U.S. or the Russians. The Turkey deal was a ruse, a cover story that was fed to the other intelligence agencies Range. around the world. So oh. what did the Russians really want? Sokolov. Thank you. They wanted us to return Sokolov. Into Ramen. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? At the time, we had no idea. We were running out of time. Yeah, he does, Robin. give up Sokolov or risk full-scale nuclear war. In the end, we had no choice. President What's that? Kennedy gave in to Khrushchev's demand. The next day, I got Sokolov out of the hospital handing him over to agents on the eastern side. Sokolov kept on screaming, save me, until he disappeared from my sight. Neat. Then a month ago, we received some new information from one of our moles. About Sokolov? Talking moles? Snake, yes. please. He was taken back to the research facility and forced to continue working on the weapon in question under KGB supervision. What's more, it's on the verge of completion. So what kind of weapon is it? Something to do with space rockets? No. Missiles. Crap. Same technology. I guess you're right. We don't know the details, but it appears to be a new kind of nuclear device. For half a year now, the Soviets have been conducting frequent nuclear tests at Semipalatinsk. Something to do with the weapon, I assume. We're talking about a secret weapon so big that Khrushchev was ready to pull out of Cuba to get it back. Is Sokolov still in the facility? No, according to our intelligence, he's in Selino Yask, a place in the mountains about three miles to the west that's known as the Virgin Cliffs. The Virgin Cliffs? <laughs> nice name for a virtuous mission. Snake? They moved him there just recently. Stop it. Why? Apparently, they're conducting a field test of the weapon, but it's our best chance to get him back. This mission would never have been possible if he was still in the research facility. This is our last chance. Sokolov must have known that too when he contacted us. Now I'm listening. <laughs> Ooh, look at that noise pattern. That looks great. Okay, we're back. Oh, wait. Wake up. He's fallen. Yeah, it's like a bitch too. He's gonna grab a helicopter blade. Listen up, Jack. Your mission is to infiltrate Selino Yask uh. in the Soviet mountains, ensure the safety of Sokolov, mm -hmm. and bring him back to the West. Yeah, it's R1 for first person. During some cutscenes, you can press R1 to go first person. That is complete, we'll be facing a major crisis. And sometimes you can the do it without them ticking. telling you. <laughs> Why 
Once we've confirmed the rescue of Sokolov, stand by at the recovery point. A recovery balloon will be dropped at that point. Helium will be pumped into the balloon to inflate it. The process takes about 20 minutes. Fulton! Once it's complete, the gunship's arm will latch onto the balloon and pull it up. The Fulton surface-to-air recovery system. I'm familiar with the theory. Take it easy. It's been combat-proof. Do you think Sokolov is up to it? The shock will be less than during a parachute jump, and the arm can handle up to 500 pounds. So you're planning on going over the border in a single combat talent? She's equipped with two six-barrel 20mm Vulcan cannons, as well as two 40mm machine guns. It sounds like she could hold her own against a battalion of tanks. Even with the fuel in the reserve tank, we're facing a four-hour time limit. If all goes well, it shouldn't take more than a few hours. Home in time for Why dinner. is the, Why are the subtitles but like this? If anything goes during wrong, these cutscenes, they have like dinner, a weird ghost. Breakfast, and all the rest of your meals in the jungle. It's not every cutscene. It's like just sometimes. It's really weird. I think it was like that in the original too. Ballistic, sir. For the aesthetic. I want it to look like I have a bad DVD rip of the game. It's not quite a drop shot. It's like a weird ghosting that trails off. For the echo. Mm-hmm. Oh god. Tree! Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need this. I think a rabbit saw me. Covers blown. Do you copy? You're already in enemy territory, and somebody might be listening in. From here on out, we'll be using code names to refer to each other. Your code name for this mission will be Naked Snake. I'll be referring to you as Snake from now on. You're not to mention your real name. Snake? What, you don't like snakes? What do you mean? You've eaten one before, haven't you? In survival training. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if I'd ever order one in a restaurant, but... Be careful. You might not have a choice. What about you, Major? What should I call you? Hmm. Let's see. I'll be... I'll be Tom. Call me Major Tom. This will be a sneaking mission. You must not be seen by the enemy. You must leave no trace of your presence. Is that clear? This kind of infiltration is the Fox unit's speciality. In other words, weapons and equipment are procure on site. That goes for food as well. You're completely naked, just as your name implies. Great. Now I see why you asked me if I like snakes. I suppose calling me Snake was your idea of a joke, too. No. There's a good reason for that. I'll tell you later when the time is right. Gotcha. Getting back to the subject, how exactly am I supposed to feed myself? You've been issued a knife and a tranquilizer gun. Use them to hunt for food. You'll also find some medical supplies in your backpack. Yeah, about the backpack. I lost it in a tree on the way down. How? How did I you do see. that? Well, you'd better go back and get it then. <laughs> I see. You know where it is? No problem. I can see it from here. It's stuck on a branch. To climb a tree, Stand in front of a tree that's covered in ivy and press the action button. I'll be monitoring your progress over the radio. We can't risk violating Soviet airspace, but I'll be in the gunship. My frequency is 140.85. I'll give you a call if I need to talk to you. <laughs> if you need to talk to me, use the send function. 
Okay, Snake. Go get your backpack. Just picturing Snake looking at his hands like... Which one's the action button? Yeah! <laughs> That that's that was the action button. Now I'm back. I'm good. Hell yeah. It's good to be back. Uh oh boy, calorie mate TM. A balanced nutrition food. So um apparently these are horrible and taste really bad. But I don't, I've never had one, but I thought they were delicious because of this game. And everyone I've talked to is like, no, they fucking suck. They're like military rations. <laughs> like, oh. Yeah, I know they have them in Japan. I saw one in a store. They're also a lot smaller than I thought. They're like, they're like this big. I was picturing like a pizza box. I, th which in this game makes no sense. But I was just like, oh man. <gasps> Snake! Wait, 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 um, um. Oh, my backpack is all my stuff. Well. Oh boy, a snake. I'm not even hungry, but I should probably eat this. Reticulated python. Tasty. <laughs> uh, it is my my mission to eat everything. This, this I, the, I. Okay, it is kind of slope. I'm like, is this like a Looney Tunes situation? This looks like a path going up this way. Yeah, I think we have to wait till later, Ran, so we can call a uh, paramedic. Cause she's the one who talks about the foods, right? Oh god, Japanese product. Oh, yeah. Yep, it's all marketing. Yep. Yeah, give me some of that. Hell yeah. So yeah, in the top left, I have my, my health bar, and then beneath it, the segmented bar is my stamina. And it's not stamina like in a lot of games where it's like, that's how many actions I can do. It's basically like his energy. Um, so it goes down gradually over time just as you're doing stuff. And if it's really low, life medicine. That's nice. If it's really low, like your stomach can grumble and uh, it'll reveal your position if you're hiding. Uh, it can make your hands shaky if you're trying to aim, like stuff like that. So it's not going to be a non-lethal run. Um, I'm too lazy and there are too many fun tools in this game that let you kill people, but I do plan on going for non-lethal kills on the bosses because I've never done all of them non-lethal and you get things for doing them non-lethal. A Don Bluthal run. That's what I want. Oh, okay. If that's what you mean by non-lethal, we're going to be killing guards and stuff though. Shit. Yeah. Non-lethal kill. Non-lethal takedowns. So, you know what I mean. Fuck them guards. Well, you know. As I said, they just give you a lot of tools. Is it? Is it? Which button? It's action button. Okay. Not your bosses. It, it's pacifist with an asterisk. And the asterisk leads to a footnote that says killing many people. I see you've retrieved your backpack, Snake. To equip a weapon, it's necessary to take it out of your backpack. In the survival viewer, choose weapon from the backpack. Your available weapons will be displayed in a window in the upper left. From that list, choose the weapon you want to equip and press the enter button. For other equipped items, just do the same thing from item. Got it. Use the survival viewer backpack. Yep, that's right. Survival is fundamental to this mission. After you've been out in the field for a while, your stamina will start to drop. If your stamina gets too low, it'll affect your performance. You won't be able to shoot accurately, for example, and your wounds won't heal as smoothly. Keep an eye on your stamina so you don't run out. Why does Tom sound like Ringo? Stamina, you can hunt for local flora and fauna. You can use either your tranquilizer gun or your knife to hunt. My only weapon is a Mark 22 Hush Puppy tranquilizer gun? That's right. It's been fitted with its own suppressor. 
However, the suppressor will deteriorate every time you fire. Once its durability reaches zero, the noise suppression effect will be gone. So don't get too trigger happy with it. The suppressor's durability is durability? thrown in the Durability? Boo! Any weapons and equipment beyond what you're carrying now, you'll have to find as you go. I have to find my own weapons and equipment? Whose crazy idea was this anyway? Solo covert actions are standard Fox operating procedure. You can't leave any traces of your presence. About no that. No weapons, equipment, footprints, sweat, or bodily waste. Sweat? Same goes for bullets and cartridges, too. Your presence in enemy territory is already a violation of international conventions of warfare. Ugh. There aren't supposed to be any American soldiers in Russia. It could spark an international incident. Ooh. You can't let anyone see you. You can't let the enemy know you're there. This is a stealth mission. That's not you're good. You're a ghost snake in every sense of the word. And there'll be no I could have been naked captain. ghost? The military and U.S. government will deny any involvement in the affair. Then I'll just have to take care of myself, huh? I'm afraid so. Don't You've shit been the given floor. a fake death pill for that purpose. SIS guidelines stipulate that soldiers on covert ops like this one be issued a potassium cyanide capsule. Potassium. Tape it to your body so you can take it when you need to. How generous of you. Use it if you're taken prisoner by the enemy. It'll send you into a state of false death for a short time. Fooling them into thinking that I'm really dead. So how do I come back to life? Just take the revival pill. You mean that thing they put in my tooth before the mission? That's the one. But be careful. If you remain in a state of false death for too long, nothing will be able to bring you back. Remember that. I'll keep it in mind. You said this was a solo mission, right? Right. I guess that means I can't count on any reinforcements. Correct. The mission rests entirely in your hands. A real one-man army. Relax. There's a support team ready to back you up over the radio. Who? I'll introduce them to you. This time, survival is of utmost importance. The first member of the support team will be in charge of monitoring your physical condition, acting as a medic, so to speak, as well as recording your mission data. She's a member of Fox as well, and she's here on the gunship with me. She? Hello, Snake. I'm paramedic. Nice to meet you. Paramedic? As in a medic who comes in by parachute. Aren't you going to tell me your real name? Are you going to tell me yours, Mr. Snake? My name, huh? It's John Doe. And they call you Jack for short. You're a regular Captain Nemo. A name means nothing on the battlefield. After a week, no one has a name. You just met What's your Snake. name? Jane oh. Doe. Very funny. I wasn't joking, but I'll tell you my name only if you manage to make it back alive. My frequency is 145.73. She's also in charge of recording your mission data. Whenever you want to save, send a message over the reserved save frequency, 140.96. So saving lets me record my mission data. That's right. It also records the state of your health. Good to know. There's one more person I want to introduce you to, Snake. Huh? Speaking of snakes, you remember the boss, don't you? A legendary soldier and your mentor. Actually, it was the boss that got the DCI's authorization in the first place. She's going to be serving as Fox's mission advisor. The boss is? She also helped me plan this mission. She and I were at SAS together. Jack, is that you? How many years has it been? Boss? That's right. It's me. Oh. Talk to me. Let me hear your voice. It's been five years, 72 days, and 18 hours. You've lost weight. You can tell just by the sound of my voice. Of course I can. I know all about you. Really? Well, I don't know anything about you. What's that supposed to mean? Why'd you disappear on me all of a sudden? I was on a top secret mission. Hmm. You didn't need me anymore. But there were still so many things I wanted you to teach me. No, I taught you everything you needed to know about fighting techniques. I taught you all I could. The rest you needed to learn on your own. Techniques, sure. But what about how to think like a soldier? How to think like a soldier? I can't teach you that. A soldier needs to be strong in spirit, body, and technique. And the only thing you can learn from someone else is technique. In fact, technique doesn't even matter. What's most important is spirit. 
Spirit and body are like two sides of a single coin. They're the same thing. I just landed in the I jungle. I can't teach you how to think. You'll just have to figure it out for yourself. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Having personal feelings about your comrades is one of the worst sins you can commit. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. Damn. And politics are a living thing. They change along with the times. Yesterday's good might be tomorrow's evil. Is that why you abandoned me? <laughs> no, it had nothing to do with you. I already told you, Jack, I was on a top secret mission. A soldier has to follow whatever orders he's given. It's not his place to question why. But you're looking for a reason to fight. You're a natural born fighter, but you're not quite a soldier. A soldier is a political tool, nothing more. That's doubly true if he's a career soldier. Right and wrong have no place in his mission. He has no enemies and no friends. Only the mission. You follow the orders you're given. That's what being a soldier is. She's Pearl from SpongeBob. I do Sponge whatever Bob. I have to to get the job done. Oh, no. I don't think about politics. That's not the same thing. Sooner or later, your conscience is going to bother you. In the end, you have to choose whether you're going to live as a soldier or just another man with a gun. There's a saying in the Orient, loyalty to the end. Do you know what it means? Being patriotic. It means devoting yourself to your country. I follow the president and the top brass. I'm ready to die for them if necessary. The president and the top brass won't be there forever. Once their terms are up, others will take their place. I follow the will of the leader, no matter who's in charge. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The times. People's values change over time, and so do the leaders of a country. So there's no such thing as an enemy in absolute terms. The enemies we fight are only enemies in relative terms, constantly changing with the times. As long as we have loyalty to the end, there's no point in believing in anything, even in those we love. And that's the way a soldier's supposed to think. The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. All right, but do me a favor. What is it? Call me Snake. Snake? Oh, right. Your code name is Snake. It suits you well. That's right. The legendary unit that the boss put together during World War II was a snake. The Cobra unit. A group of heroes that brought the war to an end and saved the world. As long as you've got a legendary hero backing you up, you'll be fine. Isn't that right, Snake? Welcome back. Yeah. I can't think of anyone else I'd rather have with me. Oh, and one more thing, boss. Yes? It's good to hear your voice again. Same here. After all, who knows if either of us will make it out alive. Snake, you are always best at urban warfare and infiltrating buildings. But this is the jungle. Survival is going to be key. Those CQC techniques CQC. I taught you are sure to come in handy. CQC. CQC. Close quarters combat, huh? CQC. I've been in the Green Berets for the past few years. I'm probably pretty rusty. Not to worry. I'll be here to help you remember. After all, this is your first actual survival mission. I'll be supporting you over the radio. Where are you, boss? Next to the Major? The boss is communicating with us by radio from aboard a permit-class submarine in the Arctic Ocean. My frequency is 141.80. Call me if you need my advice on battle techniques. Gotcha. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. Dr. Sokolov is being held in an abandoned factory located to the north of your current position. Avoid heavy combat and don't let anyone see you. Don't forget that this is a stealth mission. Got it. Snake, try to remember some of the basics of CQC. CQC. Knife gun. Knife plus gun. Commencing virtuous mission now. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh. 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 Wait, that's. Yeah. 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 
I did it. He's sleeping. That's a snake grenade. Yeah, woo. Uh, so what, 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 we, what we got in here? Um, we got That's fine. I want a prediction. Well, Barry, I have no alert states in the virtuous mission. Yes or no? Oh, shit. Yeah, okay. So we got, um, we got our life medicine. We got a fake death pill, a revival pill, and our tooth. A cigar. I brought a cigar with me. Binoculars, motion detector, active sonar, and anti-personnel sensor. That's the one thing. Was, um, in Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2, you have the Soliton radar in the corner that shows you your position and all the, uh, enemies and stuff. And it was great. Uh, and this game goes, uh, well, you have a sonar that kind of sucks. And enemies can hear it. So... There's that. Whoa! Hello, buddy. You hissing? You slithering? Let me listen to you. Sir, where were you last night? Sir? Fine. I'm bringing you in for questioning. Yeah. Yeah. That's an H snake. He must be Ames. Wait, I can. Oh, it takes a bit to load that. Uh. Paramedic. I ate a snake. I see you've captured a giant anaconda. Yeah. The giant anaconda is believed to be the largest snake in the world in terms of weight and diameter. Oh. It's not poisonous, but its large size makes it extremely powerful. They say it even eats crocodiles. Its only natural predator is man. And snake. And snake. Got it. So how does it taste? I knew you were going to ask me that. Glad I didn't disappoint you. So? Well, the guide says it tastes all right. Good. I'll have to try some. Ugh. Let's eat yourselves a snake! I oh. see you caught yourself a reticulated python. Well, he was going hard. The reticulated right. python is said to be the longest snake in the world. The biggest ones can grow up to 10 meters in length. Although they're not poisonous, they're still very dangerous, so be careful around them. They have a highly ferocious temperament, and they can swallow whole, even large animals like deer and pigs. What? Their most distinguishing feature is the mesh pattern of their scales. This pattern acts as a highly effective natural camouflage. If you think there might be a reticulated python about, pay close attention to your surroundings. Otherwise, you could get bitten before you even know it's there. You've eaten one, haven't you? Yeah. It wasn't half bad. Oh, cannibal. What was that? Nothing. Talk to you later. I just wanted to see what it tasted like. Um, yeah. That's, uh, eh. So during all that conversation, someone asked, um... Uh, I forget exactly what their question was, but they're saying, like, is this game easier to play in the HD version? And the answer is mostly no. It's basically the same. But the subsistence and or just re-release version of this game um, has this fancy camera. The original game looked like this. And had this fixed camera that you could use the right stick to nudge around. But you basically had to use the first person mode to be like, oh, that's what's over there. And then subsistence and the HD version are like, boop. You can move the camera, and it just—I think a lot of the game is just a bit easier to grasp when you can freely move it around like this. Um, oh, hello, sir. But it's nice that you can just bring back the old camera. There are parts of the game where I kind of prefer the old camera. Hello. Yeah. H. All right, let's get a mosey on out of here. Yeah. They made three camera frame, just two. I think so. That sounds familiar. Ugh. Um, but also there is a map that I can pull up. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Okay. North. Let's go. So, that was a lot of exposition <laughs> at the start of the game. But a lot of it is 
useful, and it's kind of the best time for it. It does suck that you start the game and it's like all this bombastic intro, and it's like, okay, hop, a, pop a squat in the bush, and we're gonna talk at you for a while. It's like, I feel like, and just one and two get you in the action much, much quicker. There's something to be said for that. But um, motion detector is kind of nice. It does drain battery though. I don't have a lot of battery. There's a little bugs. Can I eat them? Yeah. I want to eat a butterfly. Okay, fine. Hmm. Does it even count as exposition? It does. It's more setup than raw exposition. Oh. Oh. He's pogging. Eat the uh, eat the gator? You want me to eat an alligator? Oh. It's flat fuck Friday. Hey bud. <laughs> eh. He didn't seem to mind. Oh, there's something in the bush there. Hey! <laughs> he just He was just what was that for? I need to eat you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to know what you taste like. It's me or you, buddy. Uh, this gator's kind of strong. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, whoa! Bug juice. What the hell are those noises? Is that another? Oh, that's a guy. Hello. For speed running. Oh, for sure. I mean, look, look at my pace. It's a lot of gators here. Whoa. Um. I think it's empty. I don't think there's any bees in there. Ooh, beehive. Oh, the bees. No, no. Phew. Sweet. Let's, um... Oh, I already... That's right. Oh, they just give you this. Okay. Well... So this... This is what you start the game with if you pick the I like MGS2 option. You start the game with the... The Raiden mask on. And there's some dialogue about it. I forgot they just give it to you. Is it because I said I like MGS3? I don't know. Raiden with a jawline? I know, right? Raiden! What are you doing? Um... And then I also have... There you go. Now that's gaming. They, they, they won't know. They won't see me coming. As long as I hide in front of the queen. I'll be invisible. These these country face paints do nothing. Especially like everything I'm just doing. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. America! It's good. It's great. Um, we got... We got naked. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. Does not provide much camouflage. It doesn't say none. It doesn't say none. How you doing? Spin them around. So, um... I'm not going to intentionally. If you spin them in this mode for too long, like doing that for like 15 seconds, when you unpause, he barfs. I'm not gonna do that intentionally. I know that there, there may be people who are, um, emetophobic, and so I'm not gonna do that without telling you in advance, but that is a feature in the game. You can spin them around. Um... You got an ad for the army? <laughs> oh, God. This, uh, 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 the, the Metal Gear Solid games are, are, uh, pro-soldier, but not, not pro, like, military like how to phrase it i don't know there's there's a lot in these games that's uh kojima's thoughts about things um tree bark seems good black might be a little better but i think it's because i'm near the mud or is bad yeah that's kind of the, the theme extremely pro tom clancy yes yeah and yeah it's military industrial complex that's the phrase i was looking for um 
Right, I was gonna I was gonna try to eat something. Um how we doing here? Wait, food. It's gonna take me a bit to get. Okay, so those I'm gonna keep because though though so if they have the little uh cage around them, that means I caught them while they're alive. I think there's a limited number I can store. Uh maybe I'm misremembering. Um, but then these are ones that are dead. Um so uh food does rot. So let's eat a gator, an Indian gavial. Not too bad. That's all right. Three li okay, three live boys you can keep. Yeah. Where are you keeping your snakes? In my pockets. I want to talk to paramedic about it. I see you've captured an Indian gavial. Stop. The Indian gavial is a crocodile that it originally did. lived in freshwater regions in India and Nepal. Why are Indian crocodiles way out here? They're captive crocodiles that were brought here for research purposes but escaped and became wild again. Indian gavials are large creatures. Adult males grow to over six meters in length. You'll never catch one alive, even if you use the tranquilizer gun. I tried the meat. It was great. Well, good for you. But be careful when capturing an Indian gavial. Normally they're cowardly creatures, but the ones in the forest there are belligerent. Apparently they attack humans. What do you mean? They weren't the direct subject of any serious research, but some think they may have become violent as a side effect of the atomic research that was conducted nearby. Godzilla? Oh. Camouflage is an indispensable tool when you're sneaking through the jungle. To use camouflage, first press the start button to go to the survival viewer. Then select camouflage and press the enter button. Select uniform to select battle fatigues and face to select face paint. Choose battle fatigues that match the surrounding environment. The most effective camouflage is attained by selecting fatigues that blend in with the environment. Camouflage patterns that stand out in your surroundings will attract attention. I just want to slide Snake over while he's talking to someone and just have him, just the equivalent of like, the fuck you saying? What are you talking about? Metal Gator. You mean Meal Gator. It's delicious. Snake, be careful of that swamp. What's dangerous about it? It's a bottomless swamp. A bottomless swamp? Yes. The mud in that swamp is highly viscous. It will stick to your body like tar. It will be impossible for you to swim. If you get swallowed by the bottomless swamp, you won't be able to escape on your own. Once you sink down to about head level, you'll be trapped for good. Make sure you get out before that happens. There's like a million hours of codec conversations in this game. Uh, okay. Careful. Don't get up to my neck. Or I'll be murdered by the swamp. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, I'm all covered in goop. Hey! Rude. Buddy. Ooh, new suppressor. New suppressor just draw. Yeah, so the, the suppressors in this game require, um, they don't require, they have, uh, durability. So you can see in the bottom right next to my, in the, in the very bottom right corner is my ammo that's loaded into it. It's CQC compatible, so I can be like, yeah, 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 yeah with it. Um, but above it, the, the bar, that's my currently equipped suppressor. So. Yeah. Wait. Wait. I want to eat a bird. Shit. Yuck. Yeah. Hello. No, no. no. Creeper oh, man. So we back in the mud. Bam. Got a pickaxe swinging from side to side. Side, side to side. This task a grueling one. Hope to find some diamonds tonight, night, night. Thank you. For the hammy. Oh, they hang out on that tree. Whoa. Get him. Shit. All right. Maybe not now. Ooh. Killing you the local fauna. Mm-hmm. Snake is at his happiest when he's eating something. And then talking to paramedic about it. That's... That is what he lives for. Yeah. No. I, in fact, I am a little bit, I'm a little famished. I mean, I took some damage. I'm fine on stamina. Uh, let's eat the hornet nest. Baltic hornet nest. 
Hey, Metasar, thanks for the... more. But that was, I mean... It's full of frass. Holy shit, he was into that. Tastes like buzzing. I see you found some Russian oyster mushrooms. The Russian oyster mushroom is an edible variety that belongs to the Shimeji family. It's known to be particularly rich in vitamin B1 and niacin. Apparently, it's usually found growing on tree stumps and hollow logs, so look there if you want to eat some. Snake, you will encounter Baltic hornet's nests in that area. Bees. Baltic hornets are a variety of hornets that inhabit that area. The difference between them and other hornets is that they produce honey in their nests. Inside the nests are larvae, pupa, and adults. You can eat them all. In particular, the honey you find inside the nest is delicious and full of nutrients. It's easy to digest and helps pep you up when you're feeling tired. In short, it's the perfect survival food. Eat the honey bees, Honey can they... also be used as a burn ointment. Oh. When honey is applied to a burn, it creates a protective coating over the skin. When you knock down a hornet's nest, a burn ointment will appear along with it. So don't forget to pick it up. Of of course, the hornets aren't going to give up their nest without a fight. If you knock a nest down, a large swarm of hornets will come flying out. So be careful. She's from Boston. So I could be like, I ate it. He doesn't always talk about if he ate it or not. But it's good. Um Dramuchij North. Gonna go eat a bee! I don't I don't like the detail that she's like you're eating the larva and the pupa and the bees inside the hive, just chewing on it. Just getting in there. Well. I'm playing this on the PS3. HD collection. Yep. Major, I've spotted two enemy soldiers. They're probably KGB troops sent to guard Sokolov. AK-47s and grenades. That's why bears raid beehives? Stop Snake, for the broth your presence bugs. in Soviet territory is already a violation of international law. Mm. You can't let the Kremlin find out that the CIA and the American government are involved. Mm. Contact mm. with the enemy is strictly prohibited. Don't engage them in battle either. This is a stealth mission. Got that? The Major is right. The point of this mission is to sneak through the jungle without being seen. Mm -hmm. The success of the mission depends on how well you use your camouflage. Change your camouflage by selecting Camouflage from the Survival Viewer. That makes sense. The Uniform option lets you pick your uniform, while the Face option lets you change your face paint. Choosing camouflage that blends in with your surroundings will help you conceal yourself more effectively. Also, don't forget that anything that moves will stand out in the jungle. <laughs> if you just stand up and run around like an like idiot, panic you're bound around. to be spotted. But if you crawl instead, you should be able to sneak by without being noticed. I love he gets seen in the video, he just starts running in circles. You can see how effective your camouflage is by looking at the camo index. Yeah. The camo index shows how well your current camouflage blends in with the surrounding area. The higher the value, the harder you are to spot, and vice versa. Surely not me. We're going whole, the full key stealth, is no to alerts. Make yourself one with nature. Keep that in mind as you go along, okay? I was originally planning on um, the, 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 the bar hee 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 emote. I was originally going to have a 100% in the corner, but I think it just reads fine. Just by itself without a number but yeah you can see that i'm at 85 percent laying down still and then if i'm you know i'm like 40 percent squatting if i run around it's even lower so it's a real-time indicator in the top right of how likely i am to be seen and it's literally dependent on every factor of the environment and what i'm doing um woodland seems fine and good old olive oh leaf Full leaf. No, DPM? What are you doing, DPM? Whoa. That's rad. Custom cam patterns from the built-in camera. I forgot that was a thing. Yeah, also, if you can use the analog stick to crawl fast. And you see how that removes 5% camo. Or the D-pad. No matter what mode of movement you're in, the D-pad lets you move. Perfectly stealthily. 
Yeah. Hey, bud. Ooh, bug juice. Come over here. Ch -ch -ch. This guy eats roadkill and loves it. Oh, oh. Is he gonna turn around? Hope he doesn't turn around. Yeah, that's good. Hey, bud. Freeze. Ah! He dropped his gun. Um. Sup? No, wait. Shoot you in the. In the I'm shooting you in the nards. Unless you show oh. me the moves. Shakira, Shakira. Thank you. Oh. Eh. Eh. Hide the bot. Hide the evidence. Leave him to the rats of the forest. He's fine. Very good English for Russian. Mm hmm. I think the idea is that they are all speaking Russian. I don't remember. It's fine. Uh, hello. Oh. It's another guy. Oh, I've just been using the motion detector this whole time, draining my battery. Great. Wait. Is that some kind of a papaya? Okay. Um. Uh, eh. Perhaps a sweet treat for me. RC Cola? Hmm. The tree is truck nuts. <laughs> Speaks Russian. Real time chase. Right. Mm hmm. There's a guy over this way, too. Yeah. Yeah, having this camera is just so nice to be like, is the coast clear? Because this was the camera in the original game. And you're like, is a guard going to see me? I don't know. I guess we'll see. But just being able to be like, whoop, smooth the camera. It's just very nice. Yeah, even you can see the same. Well, actually, it's a different texture, but it's like where it's sunny. Different cameras work in different places. It's wild. Eh, 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 eh. I'm inconspicuous up here. I'm just a very ugly bird. Hmm. Eh, eh. I can't knife while I'm hanging. Okay. Oh, nice, Brio. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, uh, oh, there's a guy. He's he's over he's over there. Uh, there. Let's get in the bushes. Stop. Yeah, when you're in dense foliage like this, though, you are locked to a first-person perspective. That's the same. But if you hold R1, which is your first-person thing, you can move the camera without looking, and then you can use L2 and R2 to either slide around or peek up, which is very nice. I kind of want to see you see him to the ground rather than shoot him with a trank. Because it's fun, but I might fuck it up. And then I'll be like, hey, hey, what are you doing? Cut that out, man. Meow. There he goes. What's this? Eh? Bullets. Wish I could play this game. It is, uh... Really, really... Aggravating. That is not easy to play this game on modern hardware. Whoa! Sure, thermal goggles. Why not? I forgot those were here. Uh, give me those. I don't need the cigar. Uh, the AP sensor is the one that vibrates when you're near people. I never use that ever. Don't need that. Remix in the works. There's been rumors of that for a long time, but Konami did recently announce they're opening up a new... Um, like, one or two new development studios to make, like, video games. 
not just Pachinko? We'll see. Like, fuck Konami and all that. Like, I- well, I don't know. Hi. Guard doesn't know. Where's the other guy? Oh, he's right there. Hey. Yeah. I don't even need a remake. Like, there's so much jank in these games that I love. And I feel like a remake that's not made by people from the original development team wouldn't have the same vibe. It's like when I look at the MGS3 Pachinko, which they remade cutscenes of this game in the most recent, the Metal Gear Solid 5 engine. So it's gorgeous, but, uh, it, uh, feels really weird. Just gonna bop him. Uh, got him. Yeah, if you bop him in the head, they, uh, Ooh. Oh, he's doing a loop over here, isn't he? Good. Hey. I'm gonna scooch over here. Yeah, go that way. Crawl away. There. Crawl away. Back away. He doesn't know that I'm here. I must be seeing things. Yeah. Probably. And... See, can you see him? That's not CQC. I'm just kicking him. Well... <laughs> you got any goodies? You need a grenade! Wow! You shouldn't have. Uh... Is there one more guy over there? I don't remember. It's been a minute. Oh boy! Another grenade. Oh, yeah, there's very much a guy right there. Do I need to take him out? No. Is it fun to? Yes. Yeah. I'm just a bush. Don't worry about me. I'm just a log. Oh, well. It's me backing up. Sir? I gotta remember the basics of CQC. Ooh, a mushroom. He might see the guy that's knocked out right over there. Because I thought CQC was the punch button, but it's like punch in a direction. Maybe while you have a thing out. Hey, boss. I don't remember the basics of CQC. Visibility is poor in the jungle, so you'll be finding yourself in a lot of unexpected encounters. No. Naturally, this means that yeah, close circle. quarters Let's combat punch. will be more important than ever. CQC. So I'll have plenty of chances to use CQC then. CQC. That's right. In proximity encounters, firing a gun isn't necessarily the best response to every situation. It's only one option among many. Mm-hmm. Rather than taking the time to draw, aim, and fire a gun, engaging your opponent in hand-to-hand -hand combat can sometimes be a faster and more reliable way of doing it. Usually no. Besides, in a sneaking mission like this one, it's too dangerous to go around firing your gun. You'll end up revealing yourself to the enemy. Yeah, I know. You created CQC to deal with exactly this type of situation. With your help, of course. In a battle situation, you'll only have a split second to decide how to attack. Use the weapon button to attack using a weapon, and the CQC button to attack using CQC. Mm -hmm. Press the CQC button once to throw a punch. Mm -hmm. Pressing it multiple times in succession will allow you to deliver a combo attack. Mm -hmm. But striking your opponent is just one aspect of CQC. It doesn't really start to shine until you've got your enemy in a hold. Press and hold down the CQC button to grab your opponent right. with your right hand. From there, you can use the left stick to knock your opponent off balance and throw him to the ground. This can be used to knock an opponent out in a single blow. If you don't press the left stick, grapple with your enemy until you're behind them and can get your knife to their throat. Grabbing an enemy from she behind <laughs> and holding your knife against his throat will render him virtually powerless. From this point, there are several things you can do. Mm -hmm. Press the CQC button hard to slit the enemy's throat with your knife. Yep. Move the left Pressure stick sensitivity. and press the CQC button to throw the enemy to the ground. 
kissing Lightly is the most important the component. Lightly button rapidly to choke the enemy. Mm -hmm. You can use this to knock him out or even kill him if you do it long enough. By continuing to hold down the CQC button, you can move around while keeping your grip on the enemy. This is real jank on the 3DS. By pressing okay. the weapon button, you can aim your currently equipped weapon at another enemy. Right. With their comrade acting as a human shield, the enemy will be reluctant to attack you. That's fucked up. Press the left stick to press your knife against the enemy and demand information. You'll be surprised at how much you can learn this way. But don't get too complacent. While your enemy may be powerless in your grip, he'll use any opportunity he can to counter it. Was every line of this recorded on a different day? Ugh, I think some of that was new. Um, okay. Got it. Great. So. CQ. Huh? Whoa, shit. No. That? That's not an alert. That doesn't count. Doesn't count, chat. Speak. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, guess what? <laughs> well, didn't mean to do that. What? Sir? And... Eh. Well, that's... Whoa! What do you mean you see me? Hey, great news. Uh, I got seen by... This is just because I wanted to see you see this man. <laughs> I could have just gone to the next area. Uh, yeah. And I might as well. Ooh, there you go. I, I, I mean, I didn't want to say anything, but um, I would have guaranteed I would have gotten alerted. Not, not like intentionally. Just there's a point where it's like, well, right. Don't look at that. Mm. Oh shit. Whoa. No. No. Hit. 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 Oh god. I let him go. No. There we go. I'm remembering the basics of CQC. Just like the boss wanted. Huh? You good? All right then. International crisis averted. I'm the best in the business, baby. Oh, I got a little peckish. Yeah, she eat something. Um Gimme, give gimme, give oh, gimme a Golova. Yeah. Mmm, delicious. Mmm. Golova, these nuts. Wait, right, yeah, if you shoot someone in the head with a trank, it works right away. Oh, so I must have hit that guy then. And he only just then... ...fell asleep. Well. Snake, that area should be inhabited by... Oh, I should go ahead and end the prediction then. <laughs> The tree frog is a green frog a that's frog. found throughout Asia. It's arboreal, spending most of its time in shrubs and bushes. Use the tranquilizer gun to catch one alive. I bet you could scare an enemy good if you toss one at him. Throw a frog at him! But the tree frogs that live in that jungle are a lot bigger than ordinary tree frogs. They've got an appetite, huh? You've got a one-track mind, don't you? But seriously, that is one theory. However, there are people who think it's a mutation caused by nuclear testing and waste from the research facility. Godzilla frog? Do you think they're safe to eat? Is that all you ever think about? What else is there? Lots. <laughs> like what? Like why a frog would get so big in the first place. Whether it's a temporary phenomenon created by a unique environment, or a permanent mark of evolution, or a product of Ooh, the toxic like waste noise. coming out of the Just research this facility. If it is the waste that's causing it, then it means humans are interfering with the ecosystem. It really makes you think about the changing relationship between... This isn't interesting. Oh, fine. Be that way. So, how about it? I love snake in you this mean, game. is it edible? Yeah. Hmm. Well, I guess it's probably okay. Probably. I don't know. The guide doesn't say anything. 
pretty useless guide, if you ask me. Well, try one for dinner and you can help improve it. This is why we're going to be doing a lot of codec calls in this game, chat. They're so good. <laughs> so good. It's just, like, your guidebook sucks. It doesn't say if it tastes good. It's like, it's talking about a phenomenon in the ecosystem. I don't care. Is it tasty? I see you have a calorie mate. Calorie, calorie mate. The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie. You got it, Killy. Try it. It's pretty good. I don't know if we'll get to that today. Okay. But what is later? this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie Made is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced yeah, diet. Yeah, I should probably It's save. a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Apparently they don't yeah, taste good. and it'll help balance out this me. jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Uh-huh. It's easy to keep track of your calorie yeah, intake late. and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that why they're all so slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes, I love Japan. Kojima out here writing about a weeaboo in the 60s. Snake, that area is inhabited by magpies. Magpies are members of the crow Bird. family. They're distinguishable by their beautiful dark blue and white bodies and their long How tails. do they taste? Their favorite food is insects, but they'll also eat small fish, acorns, and fruit. They're omnivores, which means... They'll eat anything. Right. Just like you, huh? If you use the tranquilizer gun, you should be able to capture magpies alive. Okay. So how do they taste? You always ask me that. Naturally. So? I've never heard of anybody actually eating a magpie. But I suppose there's no reason you couldn't. You don't say. Oh. Red. Alright, that's safe. Saving the game, Snake? Yes, please. It's got, it's got to check the hard disk of the PS3. This was significantly faster with a memory card on the PS2. Oh, okay. Phew. Hey, Snake, you ever heard of Godzilla, King of Monsters? Godzilla? No, what is it? It's a movie. You haven't there seen it? There he is! Nope. It's about this monster called Godzilla, who grows to an enormous size in a nuclear oh. test and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. Snake, it's a movie, not a report out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Pants. Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. <laughs> Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile, Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, but has obliterating <laughs> everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made an American version, too. They did? I recommend seeing the original Japanese the one if you ever get the chance. It's mostly mindless fun, but it's also got a serious anti-nuke message as well. Sounds familiar. Where can I see the original? You'll just have to go to Japan. Really? That's too bad. Well, if you wait 40 years, you might be able to see it in America, too. Why is that? 2004 will be Godzilla's 50th birthday. You think they're still going to be making Godzilla movies then? Of course. Mm. Everybody loves Godzilla. You sure know a lot about movies. I don't suppose you're the movie-watching type, are you? Not really. Okay, then I'll tell you everything I know. When the going gets tough, movies can save your life. It's always good to be able to look at things from a different perspective when you get in a jam. That's the magic of movies. No kidding. Well, I guess it might at least make a nice distraction. That's the spirit, Snake. Have a little fun. Oh my fucking god. This game came out in 2003 or 2004, but... Like, that's why he put that line in there, but holy fuck. <laughs> 2004 will be the anniversary of Godzilla. It's like... Mm -hmm. Huh? I thought I took out all the guys. Who's, who's still around? 
I'm gonna get out of this zone. It was 2004. I only walked not one, knocked one out. Oh, I knocked it right. When you knock them out, they don't stay down that long. Okay, goodbye. See ya. No international incidents here. Oh, man. Yeah, no, in, in, in MGS 1 and 2, I think they talk about how your radio, like, stimulates just your inner ear bone, so only you can hear it. Um, and I think 2 mentions some shit with nano machines explaining how they're able to, like, communicate without talking. But this game's like, you just have a radio. Like, yeah, don't worry about it. Major, what the fuck is this? It's Kermit the Frog. My god, this nuclear radiation's really mess doing a number on these frogs, huh, Major? What's going on with them? Yeah. But it tastes like shit. <laughs> Paramedic, it tastes like plastic. Pleh! Pleh, pleh. Hello. Get your ape escape gun. For anyone asking, I'm not going for all the, the frogs. I'm not. You unlock a camouflage pattern if you shoot every frog in the game. They're hidden in every zone of the game. And there's like 70 of them or something. So A, I would need a guide. And also, uh, a lot of them, you have like one chance to get. And then if you miss them, they're gone. So I'm not, I'm not doing that. Anyway, let's scare him off with some bees. Get him. Get him. Maybe I was supposed to wait till he was closer to the hive. It's my ideal amount of frogs. I'm trying to get all the carol sucks. I even looked it up to be like, I mean, maybe I could for stream. Like, you know, maybe that'd be interesting, but no. There, there's, there's like 15 of them during what's essentially an auto-scroller part of the game. And like, if you miss them, you have to restart. And I don't want to do that, so. Did it once, never again. No. All frog speedruns, two hours. Oh shit, I think they come up this way to leave. Oh, they're just going back. HQ, please respond. This is HQ. Patrol here. The situation is normal. Understood. Return to your oh, yeah, we're, we're in like the third screen of the Virtuous Mission. I'm taking my sweet time. Um, Any other beehives or uh, cool stuff? You'll never find all my friends, Kero. I think they get alerted when they hear it, if they're near enough to it. Just one of those weird frogs. You watch uh, the Muppet Show the other night? Yeah, man. It's pretty great. That Kermit, man, really knows his way around a, a joke. Uh, there's two guys there. This guy's going back and forth on the bridge here. Uh, uh. G uh. Well, that's, that's a bouncy bridge. Um, mushrooms. Maybe they're Star Trek fans. Ooh. Did Soviet era Russia get Star Trek? Uh, oh. Hi. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Did the Godfather come out yet? No, that was like 70s, wasn't it? I think this game takes place in 68? Forget exactly. Cut the rope on the bridge for funsies. Can I cut it with a tranquilizer dart? Eh, eh, wait. Got it. Pixel perfect. Line it. Oh. Mo. They did not, sadly. Damn. Oh, but it was the 70s. Damn. So what's Kermit doing in Soviet Russia in the late 60s? Uh. 
How's thermal goggles looking? Boy. Well, it looks great. Ugh. Ugh, my eyes. Hmm. Star Trek didn't exist yet in 64. I did out of the coma. I thought you were talking about Star Fox 64. I was like, I don't think that was out in the 60s. But what do I know? Um. Oh, he's finally leaving. Great. Sweet. So where's our other guy? There he is. I'm a stealthy, sneaky boy. Being a stealthy, sneaky lad. He doesn't know that I'm behind him. Is anyone coming on this side of the bridge? Hey there. Answer me. Watch out for hornets around here. That's nothing. That's absolutely useless. How do I slam him to just... Well, that works. Eh. Eh. Good night. They didn't see that, did they? Good. Now to hide him. Stealthily. There you go. Have a good snooze. Ooh, thank you. Uh. 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 <laughs> oh no. Oh. Oh dear. We've had an accident. <laughs> uh, we better send the a support team after him. He's gonna go check, see how he's doing. It may be you as well. Shit. Shit. Turned directly upside down, it just fucking <laughs> perfectly fall. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Uh, okay. Uh. Shit. A pose on the way down, yeah. I love ambient jungle those MP3 same. Big fan of it. Yeah, so with the with the pressure sensitive buttons, when I'm using this, it's triangle and square to zoom in and out. And it's faster depending on how hard you press it. So this is literally the triangle button. And I can press it harder. It's like... It just becomes second nature. Wow, this sucks. Uh, uh, careful. Careful. Okay. Okay, great. Okay, good. Okay, is there just this one lad? Or is there... Do you have friends? E. And cue the goofy scream. Okay. Huh? Huh? Who was that? Uh, oh, um. Um. Hey, how you doing? That? Speak. You stinking American. Not speak. Or maybe I'm supposed to choke them out from there. I guess that works. Do 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 do. Man, those things are spinning. I hate that you gave him a beard. You're welcome. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I see American too. That's just what Russians sound like. So if you watch it for long enough, the stars drop off one by one, indicating how close they're to waking up. 
And I assume they're calling going like pew, and just like flying off to the side. Maybe it just takes a bit. <laughs> Monkey spin. I already got an alert, yeah. In like the first room with cards in it. Cure of his radio. You're right. Where's your radio, buddy? Oh, there it is. And eh. Shit. Now he's asleep. There we go. Well, if he wakes up, he can't use his radio. Can you trank roll? What is that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, right. Your stamina is also your grip gauge. So you don't want to... Is that... Okay. So if you're low on stamina... That's a machine gun! Hold first person view and shouldering with L1 button, toggle firing mode with triangle button, put on off suppressor with X in window. Pentazamine? Oh, boy! You can shoot the stars to wake them up faster? What? Wait, really? What about their Zs? You shoot the Zs? Uh, that's hilarious. I'm almost out of my ranking of my suppressor. Uh let's uh let's let's take a look at this uh XM sixteen E one. Huh? Okay. It's pressing circle, wasn't going back. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Why- why would- I- I guess- I guess it's just you have more zoomed in. Man. If this game came out today, there would be so many complaints about the control scheme. Like, I use right- R- R2 to equip the gun. And then I can use square to just like run around and shoot like this. Or I hold R1 for first person, then lightly press square to bring up the gun. And then, while holding R1 and lightly pressing square, then L1 to down the sights aim, and then press harder on square to shoot. It's like, who invented this control scheme? It's a nightmare. It's just like driving a tank. Yeah. Um, I saw some mushrooms over here. Yeah, give me those. Uh, 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 uh. Delicious. Let's eat something. More complaints like that, I know. I mean, I, I, I just want to point out, like, it's a control scheme that I'm used to because I played it when it came out. Spy Siberian ink cap. Tastes like eating a pen. Disgusting. Rad. Um, the military sim aspect? Lots of Muslim, yes. But it's like, I, I, I'm, even if I've forgotten stuff, once I remember it, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. But, man, these controls are strange. So. Yeah. It was poisonous. Delicious. Time for a paramedic call. Yeah, maybe. Rasfet. Made it. Forget how small the virtuous mission is. Just takes you a while if you're like me and call 50 times, walking five steps. People tolerate death stranding. Yeah. Major. I've reached the abandoned factory where Sokolov is supposedly being held. Yeah, he's just talking out loud. Is a dump. Yeah, he's got a good run cycle. I can't see Sokolov from here. The security is pretty tight. There are sentries posted around the perimeter. I wonder how many are inside. Your objective, Sokolov, is inside the factory. They should be holding him in a room in the northeast section. Northeast section. Got it. Be careful. Your mission is to bring Sokolov back alive. He must not be exposed to any kind of danger. And do not approach Sokolov while in the alert phase. Right. What's the alert phase? Oh, and one more thing, Snake. You mean there's more? No, it's just that when you get to Sokolov, I want you to tell him something from me. And that is? Sorry for being so late. Is that all? Yes. Understood. Beginning my approach to the target. Get me wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta talk to Paramedic about that mushroom, mate. It's not sitting right. 
It's fine. If I have questions about it. That area is home oh. to the Sunda Whistling Thrush. The Sunda Whistling Thrush Ooh. is a bird native to Java and Sumatra. Oh. It's distinguished and by Russia? its large blue body and long beak. It really stands out in the forest. If you're aiming to catch Seven. one alive, use the tranquilizer gun. Got it. So... How does it taste? Yeah. I don't know. You don't know. The guide doesn't say. I guess there's no reason you couldn't eat them. Oh, I see. But it's nice and plump, so I'm sure it'd make a hearty meal. That's a good point. Ugh. Snake, there are rats living in that area. Rats! The rats in that area Whoa. are the descendants of wild Norway rats that were domesticated by humans as pets and lab animals. There he is. They're not poisonous, and I don't think they'll attack you. The but rats. they're quick little creatures, so you might have a hard time catching one. Uh huh. So how do they taste? Snake. What? They're rats. I know what they are. Do they taste okay? <sighs> the guide says they're not that bad. Good enough for me. Ugh. He's he's loving it. He's loving it. <laughs> Everything, all of his training was leading him being dropped in the jungle so he's an excuse to just eat his way through the jungle. The gauge below your life gauge is your stamina gauge. Mm -hmm. It shows, as the name suggests, your remaining stamina. As you consume stamina, your natural life regeneration is slowed and your hands shake more. Your O2 gauge and grip gauge also become shorter. He's thriving. Excessively low stamina can often impede your mission objectives. Make sure you replenish stamina before that occurs. That area is home to the reticulated python. Right. Mm. The reticulated python is said we to be the longest snake in the world. It's not venomous, but it still poses a threat, so watch out. Is she out of stuff to talk that about? Area okay, well, shit. Fine. Boss, how you doing? No response. Rude. Alright. These Russian soldiers. How do they taste? Let's see, is there, do we have a better camo than 90% for here? Uh... No. Wait. Wait. Uh... uh nope. Maybe Flectarn. It's the same. Big boss they target. I don't know. I should have just made squints of every supporting character in the game other than Snake. Let's make one of the Major, make one of Paramedic, make one of Sigint. We haven't met him yet. Looking forward to y'all meeting Sigint. He's great. Okay. And... Gotcha. Something bit me. Boy, am I tired. <gasps> What's in the bushes there? Is it a snake? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey buddy, what? Is that your head? Hey buddy. What are you doing? Can I do pulps increase my stamina bar? Not in this one. Uh oh. I don't think you can increase your stamina bar, actually. So that really loud, like, hiss sound, like, air sound, was my suppressor breaking. So you'll see I now don't have a suppressor equipped. And I almost shot it, which would have just been really loud. Just eat it to get it back. But I have more. Let's, uh, that back. Yeah, I got four of them. Okay. Yeah, doing this with the updated camera is so nice. Oh. Uh, nothing. No, no one. Squares. Squares? Squares. Splitters? Splitters square. Soviet Union. Ah, comrade. Pleasure to see you. Don't worry about it. Huh? Footsteps. Oh. Who's that? What's up? No, 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 no. Radio, get us no, 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 no,
There we go. M37? Okay, well, uh... Now we have some fun. Uh, 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 let's, uh, whoo, that's a shotgun. I didn't know you could get that this early in the game. There he goes. Oh. Hi. Uh, this is why I like playing on normal mode, by the way. And not European Extreme. Hold on, I'm reloading. Ow! Stealth Master. Snake, don't create an international incident. We're at the peak of the Cold War. Whoa, I shot his fucking radio. Oh, I got reload. That's what it is. Hi. <laughs> what are you doing? That went really well, I think. Apparently there's still a guy near here? Well, um... What are these noises? Snakes. So I want to see... So if I shoot the stars... You sure? No, 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 you don't. He's sneaky! Oh god. Hey there. Doesn't know where I am. I'm a stealthy boy. Huh? Is that him? I am at zero percent, aren't I? Where'd he go? He must still be in this area. Find him. There's one over there. He's probably gonna see me. Eee. You can shoot the exclamation point when a guard spots you? Hmm. Okay, my camo just sucks here. Great. Let's try huh? that. Oh. What's wrong? Okay, well, I don't want to wake up the other guys. Where's the other guy? Where could he be? Do, 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 do. We got a pile going. Oh. Shit. Um. Oh, he's waking someone up. Oh, there he is. Shit. Damn it. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. Wait, wait. Time out. Time out. Shit. 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 This is why I have to use lethal force. Because I'm bad at the game. Patrol here. Shit. Dang, 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 dang. That'll do it. Great! 
All in a day's work. <laughs> no international incident here, Major. Are you proud of me? Perfect stealth. You truly are worthy of the title of Big Snake, Boss. Sokolov is imprisoned in the northeast area of the factory. Got it. To the northeast. Yes, and don't engage the enemy. The object of this mission is to bring Sokolov back safely and nothing more. Contact Sokolov without being spotted by the enemy and bring him out discreetly. Mm -hmm. If you must dispose of an enemy, do it with the tranquilizer gun. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The ethical thing is to ha leave them near the the python. Yeah, get them recycled into the ecosystem. It's nature is healing. Um. Oh shit. There's a rat. Major. I found a low poly rat, Major. Oh my god, look at him go. Major, he's incredible. Always oh, fast. Major, you getting this? Major, you see what I see? Oh my god. Look at that look at the textures on him. The walk cycle, it's immaculate. Oh my god, how could such a perfect creature exist? Oh. Look out for that snake little guy. He's almost as fast as you. Yeah, you better get out of there. I know, not today, buddy. Yeah. yeah Alright, look at him go. Oh, shit. Oh, there you are, little fella. Yeah. Kill it and eat it. I would never. He's incredible. So I, di I, did, I did see a thing. So this is the room that Sokolov is in. I actually don't know if you can see him. Maybe not. But you can confirm he's in there. Please stop. And um, additionally, I was not aware. Some of these, we have um, we have some live pythons, and you can take your live python. And give him a treat. Get off me, get her off me. What's wrong? Oh, dang God dang it. <laughs> Leave you for two seconds, another one oh he probably woke up. Someone. Can you attach a live python to a gun and make it a python gun that shoots pythons? Not to my knowledge, but... This is why we need a modern port on PC. So you can mod it. And make the- make a perfect game better. Oh god. Let's just- let's just go say out of Sokolov, shall we? It's probably for the best. Maybe Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> yeah. Take the ride as a companion. Okay, that I can do. Pythons can code. Right. They made Python. No, it's manga. No. No, what are you doing? You must be Sokolov. <gasps> are you one of Vulcan's men? You'll never get it from me. No. I'm a CIA agent. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. Your CIA? Yeah. I was sent by Major Zero, the man who got you out two years ago. Zero? I have a message from him. What is it? He said to tell you sorry for being so late. <laughs> Did he now? What does it mean? It means he's a man of his word. But we've got no time for this. You have to get me out of here before they arrive. 
Who's they? Colonel Volgan of Gru. You in the West know him as Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt? Never heard of him. He's a member of the Army's extremist faction, a man who seeks to seize control of the Motherland. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis two years ago, Khrushchev has been pursuing a policy of peaceful coexistence with the West. Despite resistance and criticism from hawks in the army and the provincial authorities, Khrushchev has managed to suppress the opposition so far. But the failure of his agricultural policies has put him in a precarious position. And on top of that, the tragedy last November. President Kennedy's assassination. Precisely. In a sense, Khrushchev has lost his biggest partner and his power base is rapidly crumbling away. A certain group is plotting to use this opportunity to seize power by rallying the anti-government forces, overthrowing Khrushchev, and installing Brezhnev and Kosygin in his place. The mastermind behind this plot is Colonel Volgin of the Gru. He has control over another secret weapons research facility much like this one, OKB-812, known as the Granin Design Bureau, and is using it to further his plans. But that is not enough to satisfy him. Now he's plotting to seize the secret weapon I have been developing here and use it as leverage in his bid for power. Oh, look out, Dick. Zombies. The intelligence says that they are going to make their move during the test. Then, the soldiers outside... Exactly. They wouldn't need that many men just to keep me inside. Their orders were to prevent Colonel Volgin from capturing me. Even if it meant killing me in the process, or so it would seem. Need the soup. Volgin will come. I'm sure of it. You must get me out of here before then. Yep. Leave it to me. By the way, your Russian is superb. Right. Where did you learn to speak it? From my mentor. Is that so? Yeah. America is truly a frightening country. He puts so Having much second thoughts. So much gruffness no. into the word mentor. I have no love for this place. Men Let's go. Mentor. Damn, David Hater. He was so good. <laughs> yes, Big Mommy. That's that is that is her official title. Major, this is Snake. Sokolov is safe with me. He's doing fine. No injuries. Good work, Snake. Now hurry up and get Sokolov to the recovery point. We'll rendezvous with you there. Roger. What about the sentries? I had to kill them. There was no other way. But no one will know we were involved. No other way. I see. What about the boss? We lost contact with the boss some time ago. What happened? It's probably just a weak signal. Just hurry and get Sokolov out of there. Got it. Let's get out of here. I got squished. Hey, chat. It's almost time. He's not a butler. <laughs> He's a rocket scientist. He's just rocking butler chic. Do a command, man. Threading his Hadouken. Put, put a circle forward. Punch. Yeah, it's very good. This game is a really good sense of humor. Freeze! <gasps> Shit, I thought I killed them all. It's 
So this is the legendary boss. Huh? Huh? We meet at last. There he is. You! You're from the Ocelot unit of Spetsnaz. Huh? What's a crew soldier doing here? I love minions. Soldier? He's the Ocelot commander. <laughs> That's Major Ocelot to you. And don't you forget it. Sokolov is ours. Now get out of here. And Ocelot never lets his prey escape. What? Good. That's trigonometry. <sighs> Why is he wearing spurs? He's very extra. I can't say it feels good to kill a comrade, even if it is for the Gru. <gasps> Sokolov, take cover. Are you? <laughs> Crew operatives. What is that stance? Huh. That gun. <laughs> if you're not the boss, then die. Major! Leave it! Shoot the other one! I see what you were trying to do, but testing a technique you've only heard about in the middle of battle wasn't very smart. You were asking to have your gun jam on you. Huh? Besides, 
I don't think you're cut out for an automatic in the first place. You tend to twist your elbow to absorb the recoil. That's more of a revolver technique. You filthy American dog! Snake really that was some fancy shooting. You're pretty good. Pretty good. <sighs> now kiss. No, oh, it's nap time. Major, I made another international incident. I'm sorry. Major, do you read me? I read you. Snake, are you all right? I've run into a few snags. These guys were after Sokolov, too. Apparently, they were taking orders from a Gru colonel named Volgan. A Gru colonel? Part of an internal Soviet power struggle, according to Sokolov. Something between the KGB and Gru. Between Khrushchev's supporters and Volgan's. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by Gru? Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I don't like it. Something about the whole thing stinks. I agree. You'd better hurry. Sokolov ran off by himself, but I'll catch up to him. We're counting on you. Does it count as cat calling? Yeah. Despicable Me kind of ruined this game. Yeah. <laughs> Every time they say Gru, I'm like, ugh. Let's, um, let's save. Do you want to save? Remember my first reaction to that scene? Uh, I remember thinking, why did he meow? Like, like, I get it. His code, he's part of the Ocelot unit. So that's how he summons his fuck. He's, he's like, he's like Biff and Back to the Future. With his fucking little gang. And he's like, oh, look at this fucking stance. Eh. And they're all like, eh. Like, it's like so fucking bizarre. It's just, he's a cat boy. He's the first of his generation to be a cat boy. Does he ever do it again? You'll see. I mean, I made a whole emote for it. So, you know. He likes him. He likes him. Yeah. Imagine me, 19, watching this for the first time, losing my mind, knowing my brain chemistry had been altered Snake, forever. do you know the creature from the Black Lagoon? Same. Nope, never heard of it. These scientists are investigating a place deep in the Amazon called the Black Lagoon, and they get picked off one after the other by this fishman thing. And there was this scene when the heroine is going for a swim, and the creature sneaks up on her from underwater. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, of course, the 3D effects and it came from outer space were a lot more intense, but... It wouldn't be referring to you coming from outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? Because no one on Earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Fine. I'll just get to the point, Snake. Be careful of what's around you when you're in the water. Just imagining you swimming in those jungle rivers makes me think of you being attacked by a fish man. I appreciate the concern. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't be attacking any pretty girls going for a swim, either. Are you calling me a fish man? You started it. You started it! Wait, time out. Mm. Well. Anyway. So that went well. It's nap time, Ocelot. It's nap time. Permanent nap time. Eh. You created a time paradox. You snake. You can't go changing the future like that. Colonel? No. Not allowed to do that. Snake desynchronized. He did. Yeah, they don't let you do that. Eh. Time eater. 
How's the future taste? Mm. Delicious. Get that rack, but you're right. You need to bring with me. I need a rat who makes all of the rules. Can I? Can I? May I? May I? Sure. Oh, yeah, there he is. Colonel, you getting this? Colonel. I mean, Major. Sorry. Major. Whoa. whoa, whoa. He's a quick one. I don't know why not my shot. He did a little peep and fell over. He's fine. He's resting. He's snoozing. I'm gonna name him Lil Sokolov. Okay, you're coming with me, buddy. I miss Katie. Oh, I'm Katie. Oh, it's the timed out Katie. Oh. Did she redeem a timeout? Where's she getting bop? I should eat something. Uh, food. Um... Let's eat. Uh, we don't need that. Let's see some more gator. What can I say? What can I say except? Oh, 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 oh. Name him bestest Luke. The very best Luke that ever did Luke. Katie said, "Ah." Yeah, that is a that is a bannable offense right there. Sokolov, get back here. Sokolov! Sokolov, please! Bang, bang, bang. You okay? Those men were from the Ocelot unit, Spetsnaz. Yes. The best crew has to offer. They're coming for me. I'm finished! Calm down. I'll get you out of here, I promise. And we've got some of the best backup we could ask for. Jesus. Look. That's what they were making you build. Yes. The Shagahod. The dreaded behemoth. A what? A tank capable of launching nuclear IRBM. It can launch nuclear missiles from that kind of terrain? Oh, yes. And without support from friendly units. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. Is that thing finished? No. This is only the end of phase one. That's what, yeah, Shadow Hog. It won't be truly finished until we complete Phase two. Phase two. The weapon's true form. Two comes after one. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. The yes. end of the Cold War? Yes. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. I had no choice but to cooperate. I didn't want to die. I wanted to see my wife and child again in America. Please, take me to America, quickly. They cannot complete it without my help. Got it, let's go. He seems pretty far along anyway. The end of the Cold War would be a good thing. Yeah, well, but the Cold War ends in one of two ways. One where there's no war, one where there's a new world war. He's saying that it would be the second one. This is the, the not good ending of the Cold War. Turns into a hot war. Yeah. I shouldn't have fucked up this bridge so bad on the way back. War into peace. You were supposed to be in a submarine.
Don't do that! Good work, Jack. What are you doing here? Sokolov comes with me. Why are you talking like that? Those bees? Watching uh, Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater. Sokolov just got picked up by a levitating upside down man carried by a cloud of bees. Yeah, it's historical fiction, by the way. My friends, let us fight together again. I have waited long for this day. We will fight with you once more. Release order, computer. Welcome back, boss. Oh, old now man eyeballs. All five of us are together. It's time we go to the depths of hell itself. It's raining blood. Is he crying? Don't worry, the ghost also gets onto the helicopter. Kuabara, Kuabara. Ah, what a <laughs> joyful scene. <laughs> Monster. You, you have Colonel to Vogel. Welcome to my country. And to my unit. Boss, what is this? I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Recoilless nuclear warheads. Those are nuclear warheads and you drop them on a rope bridge? a fine gift for me. This can't be happening. Who is he? Another one of your disciples? Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. Too pure for us cobras. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. Uh, horny and what hungry. What are you talking about? Think you can pull the trigger? Huh? <laughs> Gets me every time. <laughs> just... Ugh, it's great. Don't do it. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, <laughs> no shots. Do, 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 do. You've seen my face. <laughs> we can't let him live. Oh my god. His lightning's more powerful than the frame rate. Khrushchev finds out about this, we're finished. He must die. Wait. He's my apprentice. I'll take care of him. Bullets belong in guns. That doesn't Jack, make sense. You can't come with us. If I grab your hand, are you gonna break my other arm? 
No. Promise? Maybe. here now onto Sokolov's research facility Shagohad is ours no she she still has infinite ammo for a different even dumber reason than a bandana drift away my place is with them now Because she's hot. Game over. Yeah, I got a bad ending. Fucked up. Don't spot. I won't know. I yeah. I won't say anything. Yep. How's the game? See <laughs> Thank you, Onsta. I don't know. Honestly. It's one of those days. Thank you for your service. I've played this game several times. The last time was like six years ago? Seven? He's fine. Just walk it off. Snake, can you hear me? Yeah. Just barely. Snake, listen to me. You need emergency medical treatment. Can you move? <sighs> You've got to get those wounds treated. Hang in there. All right, let's get you fixed up. Paramedic? Okay, Snake. Just relax and it'll all be over before you know it. <sighs> Stay with me. Oh, nice flasher. I've seen people in worse shape before. Think you can handle it? Boys wanted to meet him. Major. The boss. She's defected. We'll talk about that later. First, we've got to get you patched up. Okay, here we go. That's rad. Yeah, Jennifer Hill's great, too. First, open the survival viewer with the start button. If you select cure, you can start the treatment. Healing is divided into treatment using medicine with the item window button and surgical treatment using the weapon window button. Your injuries include a fractured left elbow and rib bone and lacerations on your upper arms, right elbow, and abdomen. How do you know all that? They need to be fixed using surgical treatment. Move the healing cursor with the left stick to the affected part of your body. Once you've selected the affected area, hold the weapon window button and use the left stick to select the medical item and then press the inner button. With this method, you can use items to help your recovery process. To treat a bone fracture, first secure the affected area with a fastener and then wrap it in bandages. That should do it. For lacerations, you'll need disinfectant to clean the wound, sutures to stitch it up, styptic to slow the flow of blood, and bandages to wrap the wound. I like how in the footage in the top corner they have 999 the of every completely. type of healing item. Understood? It's fun. Yeah. Stay with me. Go into the survival viewer and treat those wounds. Which one's the action button? Wait, come back. Well. So that's me. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, so... Yeah, normally you can just barely... On the very far left there... There's a... There's a... We have a friend on the bottom left corner. In the original game's camera, it was much more restrictive. But here you can just be like, hey! Hey, that's just a skeleton! <laughs> Look at him! You can see him later, right. There's a hidden first person that gives you a better look at the skeleton. Yeah, he's just vibing. 
That's that's a time traveling snake who tried to stop this from happening. Sorry. Anyway, he's fine. Hey, I did it. Snake, hurry and get those injuries treated. Snake, what are you doing? Hurry up and treat those wounds. Wait, I I ate a bird. Tell First, me about open it. The no, I, I I don't care. Snake, what? All right. Boss. Oh. All right. My bones. Your he has boneitis and you're laughing. Uh, how's he doing? So, uh, his arm. That's a pretty brutal fracture. Yeah. Oops. Didn't mean to. Oh, that's wrong. Cut, 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 broken bone, broken bone. I ate a whole bunch of stuff. Yep. You're fine. You're fine. Get in there, buddy. Um, and then his ri- Oh, ugh. Yeah, that's- That's gonna hurt when you laugh. Um, and his brain- Wow, his head is empty. There's nothing in there. Shit. Damn, dude. Okay. Well, can't look down there. That's, uh, that's bad. Look at that fucking foot. All right. Um, so, cut, uh, disinfect it, and then stop the blood, and then put a bandage on there. And then suture it on top of the band, yeah. Another cut, uh, uh, disinfect it, sew it up, stop the blooding, put on a bandage. Uh, put on a bandage, disinfect the bandage. Put a styptic on the bandage, and then some thread. Bone fracture. Uh, splint on your rib? My understanding is if you break a rib, th there's nothing they can really do. You just have to wait. You can't really put a splint on a rib. And then put a bandage on top. Deep cut! You got it. And put those in this effect and styptic. And another fractured bone. There you go. Splint bandage. Good as new! He's a snake. They grow back. They don't. It's yeah, so somewhere in here I can press R1. Oh, right. First this. Yeah. It's a good noise. That was uncomfortable. Yeah. If I ever get around to streaming Ground Zeroes, <coughs> I'll have to give like a half hour trigger warning. There's some a really, really uncomfortable cutscene in Ground Zeroes. That's MGS5. We're a long way away from there. But, uh... It's like legit bad. <laughs> like, like this is like, ooh, uh, okay, alright. Need to play four. Yeah. Four is a doozy. Good job, Snake. We're coming to get you now. Just stay where you are. We'll drop a recovery balloon. Can you set it up? Just says get well soon. <laughs> is it here? I'm pressing R1. Yeah. There he is. He's waving. Is that my balloon? Yep. Jaguar. That's the sorrow's body. I don't think they ever explicitly tell you. It should just be blaring the Soviet Union anthem through a loudspeaker as it goes by. Mama. And they play rock, paper, scissors. Have you seen that? The secret theater? <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> Is that what you're referencing? It, it's a whole thing. This cutscene's important. I'll talk to you afterwards. <laughs> Mm 
What in the hetero? Um, I don't think HD has secret theater. I think it's only in subsistence. We can look it up on YouTube, though. <laughs> Which, I don't know why they didn't include it in this one. It's the subsistence Excellent. version, but not all the extras are included from subsistence. Thanks to the boss and her cobras, I have both Sokolov and the Shagohod. <laughs> smells like girl in here, Colonel. What are we going to do with the girl? Who is she? Apparently she's Sokolov's woman. Fast, my dear. A kiss of death. Are you KGB. We may be able to use her. Take her back to the base. Perhaps we should. We have no further use for Sokolov's research facility. I think it's time I gave this marvelous new toy what? a try. Colonel, even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. It'll be our friend, the American defector. You're going to nuke your fellow Russians? <laughs> the Alamo. Colonel! Big slurry sub. Yeah, Alamo, comma, rush. Oh, my balloon! Get well soon, snake. Oh god, the balloon was also a nuke. Why the Alamo? Because the, uh, yeah. The launcher used is called the Davy Crockett. Davy Crockett died at the Alamo. It's a bit bright. Davy, Davy, do I want to save? He just nuked, I, well, sure. What a weird time to save. Yeah. If you felt it, you got irradiated, yeah. The rest of the game is just a big hallucination from Snake. Virtual mission. Got to turn it up. With darkness and silence through the night. What a thrill. Look, I can make guys fall down over the credits. Searching and I'll melt into you. What a fear in my heart. But you're Why, so though? supreme.
tree frog It's so deep the trial to survive We'll see, Kate. I've already eaten like eight snakes. You can hit the R1 button to do that anytime. <laughs> Took three hours to get to the game. Yeah! Nice. By the way, did you like the uh, the briefing segments and cutscenes at the start of the virtual mission? Because now we get more of that! Woo! Yeah, woo! Currently flying over the Arctic Ocean, altitude 30,000 feet. Let's go! Approaching Soviet airspace. Arriving at the designated... It's been one week point. since... We had Total our bones broken and blasted by nominal. a nuke. Payload oxygen supply is nominal. And now we're headed back into Soviet airspace. Payload antifree system shows no problems. No yeah, it's been. All systems go for drone detachment. Snake, we can't risk a halo jump this time around. Airspace security has gotten tighter since we were last here. We can't get as close to the ground as we did during the Virtuous mission. So instead, we'll be using one of our newest weapons. Snake, you're being given an honor on par with Alan Shepard. This is our last chance. Show your patriotism. If you fail, you'll be back in a hospital bed again, waiting for the firing squad. Oh. Okay. That's... that's rad. So how does it feel to be a patient in one of the most advanced ICUs in the world? Would you do me a favor and tell the suits about visiting hours? I'll never get better with them assaulting me day and night with their questions. Must be part of the top brass's inquiry. More like an interrogation. According to them, I'm a traitor and an accomplice to the boss's defection. They're just looking for a scapegoat. Does that mean they're after you too? Hmm. Let's just say neither one of us is going to be made a national hero out of this. Does this mean Fox is going to die? No. Fox This time. Fox is still one step ahead of the hounds. The reason I came to see you today, Jack, it's time for Fox to clear its name. What are you talking about? John, we're getting the band Situation back together. Changed. We still got a chance to come out of this one alive. Yeah, what kind of chance? Don't get too excited. Here, have a cigar. It's Cuba. That'll help my ribs heal. This morning, I had a meeting with the CIA. They decided when they're going to execute us? No. Something even bigger. Yesterday, the White House received an unexpected call. President Johnson? Yes, I hear you, Mr. Chairman. It's LBJ. It was a hotline call from Khrushchev to President Johnson. From the head of the Soviet Union? That's right. A few days ago, one of our country's main design bureaus, OKB-754, was destroyed in a nuclear explosion. At about the same time, Blackboard's our anti-aircraft radar picked up a signature that oh. appeared to come from one of your military aircraft. Does any of this sound familiar to you? In retaliation, I have placed our armed forces on secondary alert. Depending on your response, I may be left with no choice but to order the military to maximum alert and unleash Armageddon. Mm. With the help of your predecessor, I was able to survive the Cuban incident. But my power is 
is not as great as it once was. If I am to survive this crisis, I must have your full cooperation. I should have contacted you myself. Did you know that one of our soldiers defected to your country a week ago? No. So you haven't heard then? The man who arranged the defection was a Gru colonel by the name of Yevgeny Borosovich Volgin. Volgin? Of the Brezhnev faction. Go on. Who is the soldier? Her name is the boss. She's a living legend. During World War II, she was the one who led us to victory in that war. In Russia, you know her as Voyevoda. You mean... The boss? The mother of your special forces? Yes, that's the one. That's her name. And she took two miniature nuclear shells along with her. The boss took two miniature nuclear shells. Oh god, he's got snake-itis. I'm afraid so. I believe they were a gift for her new hosts. The Davy Crockett Atomic Battle Group delivery system was completed two years ago. Remember the Alamo? Serious problems were found with the launcher's range and precision. Although they were mass-produced, they've never been deployed in battle. But Sokolov's research facility was completely wiped out. The whole area is polluted. I can only offer you my deepest condolences over this terrible tragedy. So, the boss, with Colonel Volgen's help, stole two experimental nuclear shells and took them with her as gift when she defected. Then, shortly thereafter, Sokolov's design lab, a top secret military research facility, was destroyed by one of these weapons. Am I right so far? Yes, that's correct. And the American government denies any involvement in the affair. Is that right as well? That's correct. We were not involved in any way. Then what was a US military aircraft doing on our radar screen? Ugh. It was Good. clearly in a violation of our airspace. Good. And yet you say it was not acting under your orders. America! <laughs> That's correct. You expect me to believe that this was all the work of a single soldier? Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to tell you. The army insists Brother. that this is all a ploy on your part. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Our government had nothing to do with it. And I would like dearly to believe you. However, I'm afraid my power over the military has weakened since the Cuban incident. I will need some kind of proof that this was not the action of the American government. You have one week. You must catch the boss yourselves and recover the remaining nuclear device. That's fair. Then, you must find some way to prove your innocence. Prove our innocence? Yes, preferably Something painful. Prove to me that this is not merely another one of your tricks. The boss should be close to Colonel Volgan. How about a little co-action? I would not expect too much if I were you. The political situation here is unstable. And Colonel Volgan is a member of the Brezhnev faction, which seeks to topple my government. One week. You have only one week, and if it is not too much to ask, do something about Volgen as well. What is that supposed to mean? Nothing. It means nothing. Call it a modest gentleman's agreement to ensure our continued relationship. What if we can't prove our innocence? Then I will be unable to restrain the military. I will be ousted, and they will seek their revenge. A nuclear attack on the United States? I leave the disposal of this situation entirely to your discretion, Mr. President. Disposal? If you fail, it will mean the beginning of a new world war. To put it simply, in order to avoid a full-scale nuclear conflict, we have to prove that America was not involved in that explosion. And eliminating the boss ourselves will prove America's innocence? Right. The higher-ups have decided that you're the only one capable of pulling this off. You were her last apprentice, 
Screw this one up and we'll both be six feet under. There's no choice. We'll complain about the cutscenes before. I mean, they're nice to look at, but there are a lot are the of Russians them. going to be helping us? And they're long. The KGB has promised to lend us one of their communications satellites so that you and I can talk to each other. That's it? They've also put us in touch with a couple of insiders. Insiders? There was a defection in September 1960. Do you remember it? You mean the two NSA codebreakers who went over to the Soviet Union? Precisely. Since then, they've apparently been training with the KGB for exactly this kind of situation. Their code names are Adam and Eva. I've been told that Adam has infiltrated Volgin's ranks. We've also arranged for him to provide you with an escape route. You'll need to rendezvous with him when you get there. Jesus. Fuck. Unidentified aircraft detected. Altitude 30,000 feet. We're gonna pull some sick G's. It's fast. Estimated airspeed exceeding Mach 3. Bearing south. I'm about to lose it. Snakes and they're just shitting everywhere. He should, he should have a mask. Like last time. This seems jank as fuck. He was Dark Souls in there for a sec. Jenks Bond! Yep. Yep. Oh, we're dead. Hey, Red, welcome back. We had a couple snakes. Caused an international incident and almost started a new world war. All in a day's work. They only had a week to put this thing together. <laughs> They're just like, ah, fuck, just put him in a rocket. I don't know. It'll be fine. Ugh. Another day. This is Snake. Do you read me? <laughs> Loud and clear. Glad to see you landed safely. I got blown pretty far off target. Snake, let's go over your mission objectives one more time. Rescue Sokolov. Again. Find out what's happened to the Shagahod, then destroy it. Okay. And finally, eliminate the boss. Eliminate the boss. This mission will be codenamed Operation Snake Eater. Because I'll be taking on the boss in our Cobra unit, right? Don't forget about Colonel Volkin. I'm not a hired killer. I know, but that was the Kremlin's demand. Demand? You mean it wasn't just a request? What's it to us if the Khrushchev regime is threatened by the Colonel and his faction? If supporting the current regime helps us avoid a nuclear exchange, then that's what we'll do. And what are the CIA's demands? Our priorities are the rescue of Sokolov and the destruction of the Shagahod. Roger that, Major Tom. Hold on, Snake. What now? I'm changing my code name. It turns out Tom wasn't the most auspicious choice. What do you mean? Well, the truth is, when I chose my code name, I picked the wrong one. The wrong one? Did you ever see the movie The Great Escape? It came out last year. Oh, must have missed that one. Everyone loves movies. Anyway, it's based on a true story about prisoners who escaped from a POW camp in Nazi Germany. The prisoners dig three tunnels as part of their plan but the Nazis find two of the tunnels before they're finished. The prisoners succeed in escaping by using the last remaining tunnel. The names of those three tunnels were Dick, Harry, and Tom. I get it. You used the name of the tunnel they escaped in as your code name because you thought it would bring you good luck. Yes, that's exactly right. At least, that was the plan. But? But I got the name wrong. The one they escaped in was Harry. Tom was one of the unlucky tunnels. It was discovered by the Nazis before it was finished. Yeah, I'm talking about the deck tunnel. I watched the movie again just to make sure. In fact, I even ordered the actual film from the movie company. 
Yeah, it doesn't sound like the greatest name to use. So what should I call Thanks, you? Thanks, Kojima. Hmm. <laughs> For, you know, let's just use For Zero, like that. we've been doing all along. All right, then. Major Zero it is. We'll start over from square one. From square zero. My frequency is 140.85. Great. Oh, I almost forgot. Paramedic is with us again on this mission. Is this her last chance, too? If we fail, she'll have her medical license revoked. It's more or less the same kind of fate. I mean, that's bad. It's not as her bad as us. is the same as during the Virtuous mission. 145.73. Shouldn't we change these frequencies? She'll be recording your mission data as well, just like the last time. That frequency is also the same. 140.96. And there's one more person on your support God. team. His name is Mr. Sigin. Sigin! He's an expert on the latest in weapons well, and Sigurd. equipment technology. You'll be going up against some of the world's most advanced weaponry when you infiltrate the research facility. If you have any questions, just ask him. His frequency is 148.41. Mr. Sigint, got it. Adam, your KGB contact, is waiting for you at the abandoned factory up ahead. The same factory Sokolov was being held in last week. Hey, don't in. Yes, meet up with Adam first. He's cleared the way for you to rescue Sokolov. How will I know this Adam guy when I see him? You'll know once you reach the factory. The whole area's been polluted by the fallout from that nuclear blast. No one else would dare come close. The password and is... We shouldn't... Either. Who are the Patriots? And Lali Lule Lo. Lali Lule Lo. Gotcha. You've been equipped with a 45 for this mission. Be careful, it's noisy. I thought standard Fox procedure was procure on-site weapons acquisition. The circumstances are different this time. You're now on an official mission for the United States government. It would be necessary to make your presence known to a certain extent, to the Khrushchev regime at the very least. But remember, this is still a sneaking mission. Snake, if you fail this mission, it will mean an all-out nuclear war. Keep that in mind and proceed with extreme caution. Understood. Commencing Operation Snake Eater. I love that extra bit of clarification that, like, it's a sneaking mission. Don't fuck up. You can be a little noisy. Khrushchev needs to know that we're here. <laughs> like, cool. Works for me. Man, it's dark. Looks directly at the camera. I only killed a couple people during the Virtuous mission. It was fine. Uh, what do we have on us? We got our knife, we got the M1911A1, which is a lethal gun. And I don't have my... My stealth gun anymore? Or is that... Yeah, it's just an automatic pistol. What happened to my stealth gun? I want to be a stealth boy. I don't want the anti-personnel. Uh, I'll keep the cigar. Maybe a little smoking will do us some good. Help fix those ribs that are still broken. It's draining my health. Um, maybe I should call the doctor. How come I'm smoking a cigar and it's hurting me? Paramedic. Snake, it's so good to hear from you again. Same here. It's been a week, hasn't it? Where's rat friend? Four days, actually. He fultoned out. Huh? I visited you in the hospital. You were still unconscious, though. Ah, then you must have seen me naked. Yeah, but you were all wrapped up in bandages and tubes, so I couldn't do anything but look. Better luck next time. Mm, let's hope so. But seriously, don't forget that you were like that until just yesterday. In fact, you really shouldn't even be on this mission. Keep an eye on your stamina gauge. If you start to run low, don't push yourself. Eat something to replenish your stamina. And try not to get yourself hurt. If you're wounded or get bitten by a venomous animal, go into the survival viewer immediately and treat yourself using cure. Yeah, yeah. I can see you still know how to nag. You're welcome. And I can see you still don't know when to keep your mouth shut. Maybe so. By the way, I heard you're going to lose your medical license if this mission fails. Yes, there was talk of that, but the mission won't fail, will it? Of course not. Good. I believe in you. But you know what? I really don't care about my medical license. Didn't they use that to force you to participate in this operation? No, I volunteered. Why? So that I could watch over you. Huh. Snake, you're the best agent I've ever seen. But you push yourself too hard. You're reckless. Someone has to stop you from getting into trouble. 
to make sure you and the boss don't kill each other. So that's why I volunteered. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better guardian angel than me, right? Thanks. Stop right there. Huh? You can thank me when you get back. All right. I really appreciate everyone in chat being like, it's horny as fuck because it's the 60s and it's also a love letter to the early Bond films. But y'all are forgetting that it's Kojima and he has zero issues just being horny on main in general. So, you don't have to think about it that hard. Kojima just likes things to be horny. And we love that for him. Sure, yes. <laughs> but it's, it's just sometimes for no reason characters like, Oh man, you were naked and in a coma recovering from medical procedure, but almost got to see that ween. It's like, I thought you were a professional. Okay, hey, listen, don't worry about it. He doesn't admit it. No, he tries to provide rationale around it. Yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna get caught up on alerts because I haven't done that in a couple hours. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, Squeaks, thanks for 30 months. Enjoy your outhouse key. Just finished my taxes. Time to eat someone's snake? Oh, uh, clover friend. Thanks for 31 months. Thanks for this gift. Can't wait to watch the VOD. My partner and I are about to embark on a road trip with our cats to move from South Florida to Vancouver, Washington. Wish us luck. What? Best of luck. Have a nice, safe move. Enjoy the VOD. Thank you. Lame babe, thanks for 41 months. In Canada, we call him Snake. Inviso dig. Get back here. Lumberzack, thanks for 55 months. Didn't know uh, why I wasn't expecting MGS3. Been a long time coming, though. It's been a bit. Naked Arcade Bubbles, thanks for a soup. May I offer you an egg in this trying time? I knew your name was Snake. Didn't expect you to swallow it whole. Just hope. It's gone. Limestone, thanks for 10 bits. Do you need popcorn? Yeah, I know. I need snacks for these these games. It, it The game still main. It, it's pretty cutscene heavy throughout, but the opening couple hours are just like lots of opening cutscenes. You take five steps, more cutscenes. Virtuous mission ends. Snake Eater mission starts. Bunch of cutscenes here, and then it kind of... You get into the swing of things after that point, but I don't know. I, I, I really do like the stakes and the, the structure and the exposition. If they just dropped in and were like, hey, here's your mission, and didn't really give you a lot of the, the detail, like, do we need that entire phone call with Khrushchev and Johnson? Probably not, but um, I, I really like how the beginning of the game is the virtuous mission. It's like, gotta go and get Sokolov. Easy peasy. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. This went so bad you now have the rest of the game, which is just to clean up that mission that went really, really wrong. And a lot of it was not your fault, but like, oh fuck, oh god, it went real bad. Like, that's a really cool premise for a game, and, and the structure of it, it's great, so. Why the fuck they put two Vancouver so close to each other? I know, names are dumb. I'll take this over here. Yes, yeah, same, same. Rock, paper, scissors, scene? You sure, okay, so real quick. Um. I actually looked it up because I was like, what? I didn't dream that, right? So, uh, after MGS3 came out, or during the development of the game, the development team made parody versions of the cutscenes that they were making for the game, and they were just meant to be an internal joke thing to, like, surprise Kojima with at, at the rap party after finishing the game, to be like, look, we made the models do goofy things during the cutscenes, and they're like, these are so good, we're going to put them on our website. The website's still up, but I think it required Flash, so like half the website's broken. Uh, but they did repackage all of those and made more of them and included it in Subsistence, which is the fancy version. I think you only unlock the secret theater after you beat the game. I could be wrong about that, but um, they included all of them. They're not included with the HD collection, and I think people, people were saying because they're only in like 240p, so they maybe just didn't bother including them. But uh, if I can, if someone has a, wants to find a link, we can watch the. The Rock, Paper, Scissors one. I don't want to watch... A lot of them are going to be spoilers, of course, because they're later cutscenes, but... The Rock, Paper, Scissors one is good. Um, ready to go. Thank you. Um, there, there's a million of these. I recommend watching them all, but yes, they have lots of spoilers in them because uh, it's just cutscenes from throughout the entire game. Um, and they're good. These were made by the development team. I mean, they're basically like... It's like Source Filmmaker shit, just before it's time, like, I don't even know how to describe them. They're so good. You can't defeat me. That all you've got? Damn it.
gotcha. The perfect man. Dirty trick. You coward. <laughs> Boss. Hold your fire. Come out, Jack. <laughs> Lost it. It's over. <laughs> Snake. What happened? Snake. Snake. Rip. Something about the shot near the end here where he's um hiding behind a tree <laughs> to hide from a point blank nuke. It's just Ugh. It's quite good. It's very good. Thank you. Um official YouTube poops. Yep. So again, th there's there's literally like like 10, 12 of them. I don't even know how many. But they're all that good. Um Excellent dev shit post. The best kind of shit post, right? Yeah, so I don't know. People were joking about rock, paper, scissors during that cutscene. It's like, yeah, no, like the devs themselves had that thought while they were making it. It was good. Thank you. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Squeaks, thanks for soup. Guy, I love these dumb fucking games. These games are great. Arcast, thanks for 17 months. Hey, I can't believe it's been almost a year. Not feeling my best. Hyped for MGS3. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Staying cute. Thank you. Start. Thanks for 50 bits. Did the correct copy of the game come in? Yes. I mentioned earlier that I, I I ordered subsistence just so we could snake versus monkey at some point during this playthrough. Um, yeah, it says secret theater mode is on here. I just don't know what the, on the... I might have to beat the game for it to happen, and I didn't want to play through the whole game on the PS2 version. Um, monkey is skunky. But, yes, I, I, I they, they sent me the wrong version of MGS3. Weirdly, they sent me the MGS3 version, not the original release... They did a bundle where they came in a special package where it was the PS1 Metal Gear Solid and then MGS2 and 3 all in this thing. And they had different box art or cover art or whatever for them. So that was the version they sent me. Oh, you have that. And I was just like, it's like, what the fuck is this? I had to look it up. And I was like, why? Why is the art different? And also it's not subsistence, but I sent it back to them. So, uh, Tommy Cheese, thanks for the hammy. Metal Gear Barry, happy Sunday. Metastar, thanks for the raid. Basil, 51 months. Pixelcan J, thanks for your bits. Um, I'd like to apologize for my breach and contract during my appearing in Barry's house tonight. I offer this an effort to make up for it. What is this? Is this safe to watch on stream? I don't know what the fuck this is. And also, this was sent hours ago, so I don't know if you're still around. Thank you. Ape Escape is a sneaking mission. I'm just going to mute this super quick if it's got copyrighted audio, I guess. Oh. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> well played, Lady. Well oh, played. Fuck. It was Descalate. <laughs> oh, shit. I should have seen it come. God damn it. Thanks, Pixel. I got fucking Descalate. Fuck. No apology necessary, but thank you, Pixel. Laugh, Tell, thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Try to remember the basics of CQC. I forgot them. I had to remember them. Uh, Arsavel, thanks for 14 months. K, thanks for soup. Uh, OMG, it's all Pac-Man. You weren't lying. Never have been. Never will. Squeaks, but major, it's for the content. Thanks for the bits. Pokemon, 29 months. Chuck Fox, 57. Watch out. Huh. I'm in a jungle. Yeah, I got Descalade. Squeaks, thanks for soup. There will be a quiz at the end of the stream. Right. You gotta get your Khrushchevs and your Brezhnev sorted out, chat. Legit, this game came out in what, 2004, we were saying? So that would have been my freshman year of high school. And I was l actually in world history classes after having played this game and being like, oh, I remember this from Snake Eater. <laughs> like, going over, like, like, I knew about the Cuban Missile Crisis already, right? But, like, going over, like, um, Khrushchev and Brezhnev and, like, that aspect of, of, of Russia during the Cold War, like, that's actual history. I remember there was, it was almost like a footnote, it was like a single paragraph, but there was an incident during the Cold War where I think it was an American aircraft entered Russian airspace and it almost led to a big incident. And I was like, oh shit, that was the virtuous mission. It was real. I'm reading that. 
Uh, historical fiction is fun. Sometimes. It was the U2 spy plane, that's what it was? Like, it was a real incident, so I'm, I'm assuming Kojima read about that and was like, Oh, that's a really interesting, like, angle to create historical fiction based off that, that incident. The Cold War was real. It wasn't true. Yeah, it was the movie Tom Hanks, uh, Toy Story. Was the one. Uh, half Flags, thanks for 62 months. Something, something. Split the two. East and West. God damn it, Bono strikes again. Uh, Meister Jazz, thanks for six months. Enjoy your golden key. So this is the legendary boss. Meow. Away, 0404. Thanks for 22 months. Bip, snips, thanks for 100 bits. Ocelot saw Snake from MGS based his whole personality around him. He just like me for real. The Cosby, thanks for 26 months. Dimashi Alpha with 110 bits. All I can think of right now is how my fiance's first exposure to Metal Gear was Metal Gear 5. Upon seeing Ocelot, her first thought was, that's a gay man. And then I showed her that scene and she said, you've merely confirmed that's a gay man and they are boyfriends. Correct. Your fiance is correct. Smash Mouth, thanks for the 96 bits. Finally playing MGS3. Did you get any frogs or lizards yet? We had a couple snakes. And I captured a rat and brought him with me back to America. Bridge of Spies, that's the movie. This is your first MGS experience. Well, I hope you're enjoying it. We're going to get back to it in just a sec. Lubin doing thanks for a year and a half. Enjoy your mildly cursed skeleton key. I remember. Kill Bulldog, Brave, 27 months. Never played an MGS, so I don't know if this is normal, but you're telling me that all of that was pre-credits. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the Virtuous Mission is basically a tutorial and a setup for the stakes of what the Operation Snake Eater is, which is the rest of the game. Um, Metal Gear Solid 2 does something similar with the Tanker Mission, where it's like a whole damn chunk of the game, and it's like, okay, that's done, now it's Big Shell, and now that's the rest of the game. But... I think those are the only two. Metal Gear Solid 4 is a very different structure in general. I think it's just 2 and 3 that kind of do that. Like, this is what the game is. Okay, actually, that's out of the way. That was prologue. Here's the rest. Well, I guess Ground Zeroes is that. The Phantom Pain. Oh. Hey. Kojima was like, let me make some Cold War fanfic. Konami was like, yeah, all right. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't care. Like, go, go nuts. Isn't MGS1? Yeah, MGS1 is basically just one mission. Where stakes th change and things happen, but it's pretty, pretty consistently just in one spot. A third mission after Snake, Jesus. That's Peace Walker. Uh, Smash Bros. for six nine bits. James Bond ass song. It's good. Snake Gear theme is so good. How dare you? Yeah, I I I, I had to stop doing it, but they just let you fuck with the opening credits. You can change the the credits into different languages, or just into a snake skeleton. Uh, you can have, like, shapes and colors fly around. You can have her say Snake Eater every time you hit R1. It's just like, why? I don't know. I I love when games do that, though. Just getting messed with it. There's an MGS4 cutscene that is 71 minutes. The final cutscene of MGS4 is a movie. Full movie feature length. And it just keeps going. Interactive credits. I just like when games give you little things to play with. That's like, this was so much work for a little nonsense thing. I'm going to scrungle on and get ready for the CFCL challenge. Go, Onsta. I hope it goes better than it went for me. Thanks for hanging, Onsta. Have a good stream. That's almost as long as the Mario movie. Right. Death Stranding was, what, fourth on the list? I'm going to pull up the list of longest game cutscenes. It didn't go well. I mean, I had fun. I wouldn't say my attempts went great. <laughs> Viz, I raided you and told everyone to send bar oofs. It didn't go great. Eat a meal while they play. Mm -hmm. It didn't feel in Death Training. Not, yeah. I'd say MGS4, you feel its length. Death Training, I was just like, no, it's fine. I was just so confused about what was happening in Death Training for most of it. It's fine. Uh, not as big pharma, thanks for soup months and a tier two. Thank you very much, Dan. 51 months. Hope you're doing good, Dan. Okay, thanks for soup. Snake, but was I edible? Smash my thanks for 10 bits. Uh, my cousin showed me this on Newgrounds when I was a teenager following the Metal Gear Awesome because Metal Gear Awesome started following you. Grabbed the because of all your fun. We're way because I'm just three. We're here watching you now. It's full circle. Is this is this crab battle? Yeah, it's crab battle. I was like, absolutely like nine out of ten chance that you're linking crab battle. Yeah, I remember it well. Crab battle. Protoss, thanks for ten bits. Protect me, nature. Bips, nips, thanks for hundred bits. Ape escape is a sneaking mission. Drive on. Thanks for two months. Welcome back. Enjoy your bronze key and the emotes. The microwave or the ladder? Um, the microwave. 
Way worse. The microwave sucks. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but it sucks. The ladder's hype, yeah. We'll get to that. Hoflax, thanks for five gifted subs. The Liquid Demon, the Unlucky Fellow, Kitten, Child, the Kitty, Mishmi, and Kyo Dog. And each hand, 33 months. Is this the game where the snake has to eat the dot on the screen? Yeah. Snake. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back to it. Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, this is a night operation. Hmm. You'll be encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter your last mission. Oh. Some of them are venomous, like the King Cobra, Ooh. so be careful. If you get bitten by a venomous animal, the poison will spread through your body and rapidly drain your life gauge. It's from a different Metal Gear Solid game. If that's game. the case, go into the cure screen and survive so don't worry about immediately it. Not in this and inject game. yourself with serum. Got it? But how do they taste? Snake. What? Are you smoking a cigarette? Nope. Yes, you are. It's not a cigarette. It's a cigar. Same thing. Not at all. In fact, there's a world of difference. There's nothing quite like the rich smell and mellow flavor of a cigar. And that thick, luxurious smoke is almost sensual when it... Yeah, 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 whatever. Y you know something? Probably not, but I don't want to hear it. Well, you don't have a choice. Uh... Cigarettes are bad for you. It's not a cigarette. It's a... Quiet, you. Smoking is bad for you. In a recent study, scientists found that tobacco smoke is full of carcinogenic substances, like nitrosamines. You know what that means? It means you're going to give yourself lung cancer if you keep on smoking. Smoking's bad that's for you? That's just what some scientists think, right? <laughs> oh, give me a break. <laughs> I heard it was just a bunch of hoo-ha. Do you really believe that? Sure. God, you're gullible. You want to read this year's report from the Surgeon General. It proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that smoking causes lung cancer. Pretty soon the whole world will know that smoking is bad for you. Better quit now before it's too late. But... And don't tell me cigar smoke is harmless because it doesn't go down into your lungs. It just means the cancer shows up in a different place. Um... Got it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Squeak said a good point. Ma'am, I was hit by a nuke a week ago. <laughs> I can't have a smoke as a treat. Eat food to recover stamina. What? Capture plants and animals to mm -hmm. get food. I have information on the local plants and animals, so don't hesitate to ask. What the dub is that true? Snake, your first task is to meet up with Adam, the contact provided by the KGB. The rendezvous point is the abandoned factory to the north of your current position. Head north. The abandoned factory. Mm -hmm. That's where I met Sokolov during the Virtuous mission. A myth by Big Correct, Food. Correct, <laughs> but we can't afford to have the same thing happen this time. I know. I I just I I just imagining Kojima writing the script and having to look up like when did they first start doing legit scientific studies about smoking and cancer and carcinogens? Can I put that in the game? Because <laughs> everyone was smoking back then. And people knew it wasn't good for him, but they were smoking. Uh, I want to talk to Sigint, but hold on. Like the Virtuous mission, Operation Snake Eater is a solo sneaking hmm. mission. There are no units in the yeah. field to back you up. Avoid yeah, engaging the enemy whenever possible. Your first priority is to remain unseen. Use the camouflage option in the survival viewer and choose your camouflage wisely. Proceed with caution. Yeah. Um... MGS1 has an anti-smoking PSA delivered to by Nastasha, who is smoking as she's talking about it. Let's say it is Sigan! Yo! You're Snake, aren't you? And you're Sigan? None other. I heard that you're an expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Close. Huh? I am THE expert on weapons, equipment, and cutting-edge technology. Ah. Nice. I'm the guy that designed your trank gun, active sonar, and motion detector. If you want to know anything about weapons or equipment you find in the field, just send me a message and ask. Later. I I I love this cast so much. They like like Zero is the straight faced, here's your mission, and every time there's like a crack in his exterior like, "Oh shit. Oh fuck." 
And then Paramedic and Sigint are just scamping, running around in circles around Zero the entire game, and it's so good. Sounds like the Cobra unit's members' names came from the specific emotions they each carry into battle. Emotions? Yeah. For unbearable torment, the pain. For true oblivion, the end. Those aren't emotions. For infinite rage, the fury. There you go. For absolute terror, the fear. And for unsurpassed bliss, the joy. The joy? It's another name for the boss. Because of the joy she feels in battle, I suppose. <sighs> During the war, mm -hmm. she had a partner named the Sorrow. Sorrow and Joy. They say there couldn't have been a more perfect pair. What happened to him? And for climbing things, the ladder. The Davy Crockett's that the boss took with her when she defected are mortars that fire nuclear warheads. They're named after Davy Crockett, the hero who died defending the Alamo in the Texan War of Independence. Remember the Alamo. That's right. The warheads are equivalent to between 10 and 20 tons of TNT. Every building within 150 yards of the hypocenter is completely obliterated. But the warheads the boss had with her were some kind of experimental super bomb. So they're actually even more powerful than that. I don't even want to think about what happened if she used it again. Snake, you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know. No, buddy. He should be dead. Yeah. Oh, let's stop smoking that whole time. Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Here. Stream for two weeks straight. You got it. Yep. That's absolutely what I'm gonna do. A butterfly. Yeah. Get it. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Weep. Mm-hmm. What am I? Uh. What was the original camera? This. Okay. That's also what's nice. <laughs> it's the original camera would be like, you're going this way. Instead of like, oh, I got turned around. It's just grass and hills everywhere. Yeah, for unbearable hunger and horniness, the naked snake. Hmm. We. Oui. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> Yo 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 wait 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 a second wait a second oh shit yeah oh god look at the low polyness of them the tasteful crunchy texture of it there's a lot of very good low poly animals in this game he's zooming I'm grabbing him. Give me. I have to eat him. The theme song I mean, he's not a tree frog. Um. Oh, his name's Otto. Oh, no. Oh, Otto, I'm so <laughs> Oh, I didn't know he had a name. Did I stab it? I, I Well, just so I could eat it. Does that help? Pretty tasty. He was, he was, he was tasty. He was the delicious little guy. R.I.P. Otto, he was a real one. Hey, paramedic. Snake, unlike the virtuous mission, yeah, I know. this is a night operation. Auton You'll be Con. encountering nocturnal animals that you didn't encounter. Yeah, I know. You can capture animals alive by using the tranquilizer Maybe I need to get further for her to start talking about When stuff. you capture a live animal, you can carry it on you as a weapon by going yeah. to backpack in the survival viewer. Once an animal is on your person, <laughs> equip it and press the weapon button to throw it. Mm-hmm. Throwing a venomous animal at an enemy might be enough to knock him out. Even non-venomous animals like frogs can be used to distract the enemy's attention. Oh. And since I know you're going to ask me, yes, keeping animals alive prevents them from rotting and makes them taste better when you eat them. Remember, though, you've only got three cages for capturing live animals. I think, I think when the Fulton balloon came down to recover Snake, there was a smaller Fulton balloon that came after it for... Little Sokolov, Sokolov Jr., a pet rat. Frogged and loaded. 
Ready to go, Major. Snake. Did you did you just say frogged and loaded? Yeah. I have nine suppressors. Wait, when when do I get my my dart gun back? Do I get my dart gun back? How am I supposed to capture stuff? I don't remember. Well, as long as I get some kind of non-lethal option before I first a horse in the jungle. What was that? That was our snake F. Just gonna sec. Oh, is it? Yeah, maybe. Maybe this cutscene. Who knows? Stirrups. Hmm. I only know one guy who has stirrups. And it's that plane that I crashed into Russia. As a prank. Oh, dinner. Whoa. Steady there, girl. You look tasty, don't you? All right. Where's the ketchup? Looks like death wasn't ready for you yet. Boss. That arm still hurt? Yes. Still broken. What are you doing here? Doing that. Go home. Go home. Gru and my sons are waiting up ahead. Are your sons minions? You don't have a prayer of finishing your mission. You're not even armed. Boss. your boss anymore there's nothing for you here <sighs> go home go back to your boss there's no need to prove that you are virtuous here that was the last this isn't America. why are the why are they spinning That should cool. stir things up a bit. You'd better hurry. Oh, there he is. The border is 60 miles south of here. You ought to be able to run that far. I had to make me a worse gun. <laughs> Why'd you defect? She uses the claw from Goldeneye. I didn't. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? The mission or your beliefs? Your duty to your unit or your personal feelings? You don't know the truth yet. But sooner or later, you'll have to choose. I don't expect you to forgive me. But you can't defeat me either. So you're gonna eat that, or...? You know me too well. Just look at that bandana. If you can't put the past behind you, you won't survive long. <laughs> If we meet again, I'll kill you. Now, go home. Hey, 
Ow. That does not feel good. Probably not. This is Snake. Major Zero. I read you, Snake. I was ambushed by the boss. You were what? The drone's been shot to hell. It's up in flames. That's not good. Enemy scouts are gonna come looking for you. Yeah, I know. But what was the boss doing here in the first place? There's gotta be a leak somewhere. No, that's impossible. The man the boss is working with, Volgin, isn't exactly on speaking terms with Khrushchev. I lost my gun. The boss destroyed it. Snake, I know how you're feeling. It's hard for me to believe, too, that a legendary hero like the boss would go over to the Russians. That she'd double-cross us like this. But that's how it is, and if you don't accept it, you'll never be able to beat her. That's not the problem. In terms of sheer technique, I'll never be able to beat her. I know that all too well. You've got to do it, Snake. She's your enemy and your objective. Enemy? We were together for ten years, and now you tell me she's my enemy? Enough. Hurry to the factory where Adam is waiting. Scouts have probably already been sent out to investigate the explosion. You've lost your weapon, right? That means you've got no chance of winning in a battle situation. Whatever you do, don't let them see you. Got it. It's gonna be great. Hmm. I mean, what were we expecting was gonna happen? Whoa. Yeah. <gasps> What's this? HQ? HQ. Do I have better camouflage than this? I surely must. Yeah, that's fine. Um. Yeah, it's night. Ooh. Gimme, give gimme give the- gimme, give gimme give that DPM! 90%! The horse breaker stand? He's fine. Patrol Somehow. Here. We have evidence of an enemy intruder. Commence alert formation. Acknowledged. Sending reinforcements. Use extra caution. Hmm. I'm gonna listen to them. My bitrate shit, so you're legit blending in. Yeah, I mean, this part of the game is quite dark, so... Is anything- are, are things decently visible, even though it's real dark? I'm low poly. Um... Yeah, we can see stuff. Okay, good. God, I love this fucking theme. So, I need to go... North? No- North. Yeah. Look at that little poly ass. Yeah. Get right in there. Okay. I'm just gonna just gonna chill here for a little bit. You fucked up your eyes better just made you fuzzy. That'd be pretty good. I squished myself, Major. I'm real squished. Oh. oh god, he's coming over here. Uh yeah. Major, I found some hands. Cut yourself on them verts. Yes, yeah, Stealth. Yeah. If you have questions about the game, um, you also feel free to ask the rest of the chat. They might know. We got some Metal Gear fans in the house. This is Ham's music. <gasps> Bird! Why isn't he removed his shirt when he's in a naked outfit? Because he's got, he's got the fashion. Okay, yeah, there come some reinforcements. That's the way I need to go. So... And I don't have any weapons. But we're only a couple seconds away from caution ending, and then let's go back on the regular patrols. Eh. Eh. You good? You good there? He's fine. Oh god. HQ. Patrol here. No problems detected. Understood. Return to your position. Just, you know, a foreign aircraft crash landed in the woods, but it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Hmm. <laughs> 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 
Hmm. 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 Ah! Birds. Stop giving away my cover, birds. Um. Oh. It's usually better to go around this way than going directly to the exit. Oh, I'm very visible. <laughs> let's let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, good old splitter. And squares is good. Oh, it's just because I'm on some leaves, isn't it? It's gonna update in like a second. Must have been the wind. Bam, 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 bam. Have to just. What if I just eat every bird? Uh. Okay. There's a guy. Hello. Is that the thermal goggles respawn down there? I think I saw something. No. 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 Probably not. Actually. Actually, you didn't. When you when you thought that you did. You actually didn't. Uh, okay. Let's just, uh, let's just, uh, scooch. Let's just do a little scooch. Why am I, okay. It's like, why am I still in third person? Yeah, 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 you keep doing that. Uh, wait, this is... This is fine. Hello? H hello? Jungle's so fucking noisy. There he is. Okay. Okay. Just gonna be a little sneaky bug. A little bug in the grass. Call me naked bug. Shit. Is there anything in there? I can't. I, it's like pitch black in there. I don't think there's anything in there this time. Shit. Oh, wait. The thermal goggles were in the, um. The other thing. The log. Is the gear meant to be gear as in COG, or gear as in Machine of War? I think it's more the latter. You got, you got any goodies in here? No? Cool. Honestly, I've never even thought about it, literally. Metal Gear is just what they call giant battle tanks. Yeah. Yeah. They do make the COG joke in one of the games? I don't remember that. I see you caught yourself a green tree python. I sure did. The green tree Haven't python isn't yet, venomous, so no need to worry. It it's bubbles. fairly docile too, so I don't think it's likely to attack you. The green tree python originally comes from Australia and New Zealand. It's a really pretty green color and it lives Oh my god. What's wrong? Snake, what did I just say? They come from Australia and New Zealand. No, after that. They're a really pretty green color. I thought so. What was I thinking? Seeing a snake and calling it pretty? What's wrong with that? Everything. When a normal woman sees a snake, she's supposed to scream or get sick or something like that. Mm -hmm. And do you think you're normal? What was that? N nothing. Ugh, oh, it's all your fault. Jeez, I'm sorry. But enough of that. What do you mean, enough of that? This is serious. No, I... I just wanted you to tell me how it tastes. How should I know? Ugh. It was awfully pretty, though. Ugh. She's not like the other girls. She's got posters of snakes on her wall. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. The black uniform isn't really camouflage. It was intended to have a psychological shock effect on enemies and hostage rescue operations and stuff like that. But it should also make you pretty hard to see if you wear it in a dark environment. And it might also work on black, earthy surfaces like you'd find in swamps. Mm-hmm. So, you're wearing woodland face paint. The woodland paint is most effective in forest environments. It'll work best if you use it when infiltrating forest areas. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Oh god. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh fuck. Uh. There's a bird. Oh, I've I've been I've been poisoned by a snake. Uh uh poisoned. 
Inject serum. Uh, uh Abby here. I only have 15 of them. Okay, let's not do that again. I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah, woo. Doop, 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 doop. Boop, boop, beep. Looks like the coast is clear. I'm gonna make a break for it. Run! You have to do a somersault through the loading zones. That's law. That is the law of MGS. Uh, oh, great. Back here. Uh, hey. Hey, you. Do you have a friend? Looks like you're by yourself. Hmm. 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 I don't have any way to shoot that down again. Alone on a Friday night. Bam, bam, bam. Uh. This is a good idea, probably. Is there anyone on the other side of the bridge? Uh, looks pretty clear. E. E. Easy does it. This is a really good idea. Sneak up behind him on a rope bridge. Yeah, they're probably fine. Good. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boy, it's windy, ain't it? Speak. If you slide down cliffs, you won't take any damage. Okay. Speak. Let go of me. Red. That was useful intel you gave me, thank you. Whoa! Careful! Get, get back up there. Okay. Unnecessarily realistic. It's a nightmare. And... Whoa! Huh. And whoop! Well. Give me them mushrooms. I remember there being more guys up here. Yeah, there he is. There he is. Um, do you have a friend? God. He is gonna hit a dead end down there and turn around. I gotta get there. Hey, wait, hold on, almost there. Gotcha. Speak. While falling, press the action button above branches. Okay. <laughs> I love their noises. He's fine. We'll get out of here before he wakes up. Get that you I need the useless camo. Life medicine, raindrop uniform. Listen, it's really useful. Um, like once in the game, effective in the rain. And there's like one part of the game where it's like tied with another camo. But I needs it. I'm getting all the camos. Unless I forget to get one, which is very probable. But if I'm leaving an area and I forgot to get something, yell at me. Be like, go back. I know there's a few that are kind of sneaky. We're here to remind you. Thank you. Rasvet. Even the frog. Not getting the frog camo. Anything that's just like a box in the game that I can just run over and grab. I missed the frog. I'm gonna be missing frogs. We're not. We're not doing all the frogs. Um. Yeah. Oh, we're back. Okay. 
Uh, looks pretty good. The frogs miss you. Good. Uh, I don't remember if there's lads here now. I think the whole thing was they're like, no one's gonna be here because of the nuclear fallout. So it's chill. Let's see. Nope, not at all. It's perfectly safe. You've arrived at the factory, I see. Yeah, now to meet up with this Adam guy. Good, go to it. So where is he? We weren't given an exact location. How about a time? Nothing was specified. A physical description? I'm not sure. How am I supposed to find him then? You won't need to. Huh? He'll find you. Uh. Why don't you try the room to the northeast where you met Sokolov? Adam might be in there. You think? Great. <laughs> Thanks. I see you've caught a king cobra. It bit me! The king cobra is the world's largest venomous snake. Its large size means that it has a lot of venom to inject. One bite is supposedly enough to kill an elephant. And it's extremely vicious as well, so watch out. I'm stronger than an elephant. If you get bitten by a king cobra and injected with venom, your life will start to decrease rapidly. As soon as you're bitten, go into the survival viewer and use cure to give yourself a serum injection. The king cobra's diet consists mostly of other snakes. Be careful, or you might end up as its next meal. Got it. So... What? How does it taste? Yep. Ugh. It seems you're the one whose diet consists of other snakes. You're making me blush. The guide says they taste just fine. Hmm. <laughs> uh. I love this game. <laughs> it doesn't get old for me. Just every time, like, how's it taste? It tastes fine. Snake. Hmm. <laughs> like, just, it's so simple. But I love this bit. Pattern clothing, face paint, tactical movements. These are the elements of camouflage that will allow you to deceive your enemy. To camouflage yourself, yeah, first know. press the start button. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. Yeah, that's right. I think he says stuff you have different things equipped. I think he talks about your gear as well. I see you've picked yeah. up a directional microphone. The directional microphone is exactly what it looks like, a listening device. When you equip it, you go into first-person view, and the mic will pick up sounds in whatever direction you point it in. Mic. The directional microphone will let you hear a lot of things you couldn't hear otherwise, like really soft noises and the footsteps of faraway enemy soldiers. You ought to find it useful when you want to know whether there's an enemy on the other side of the woods or something. Try it out. If I must, Joker Ham. If I must. Honestly, I don't know if he has dialogue for them, because I think those were extras added with this version of the game. Green and brown. But... Okay. Wearing black face paint, huh? Painting your face with black paint should give you a high rate of camouflage in dark areas. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's it. That we don't need more than that. Thank God. What about this? Oh, that's actually much worse than the blackface paint. <laughs> yeah, that's not. That's not. It's not a great look, I would say, for Snake. Ugh. 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 Covering your body yeah. is a good start, but a bare face will kill even the best camouflage. If the situation calls for a high camo index, you better break out the face paint. But not to that one. To apply face paint, select face. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, I don't. I so, I think same thing with the the flags. I don't think there's. I hit the wrong thing. Um, I don't think there's anything he says about those. Tell me about France, Sigint. Gourmet snake. Yeah. The camo index located in the top. Yeah, right. Didn't think so. He just goes, ew, what are you wearing? Ew. Shoutouts to France. All right. Let's get in there. Banana. 
picture of a like tiny door handle and then actually like a 3d door handle it's it, it's like a toilet flusher on there but then like that's like actually a handle it's a heavy door wait. textures are hard they are wait uh, yeah I thought I can just slam into it oh you just run you run into it it's not in here. And he burnt all the manga. Damn it. Oh. That could be the lock. Maybe. It seems I found the cutscene trigger. Are you the agent they sent? Are you Adam? I thought you were supposed to be a man. Adam couldn't make it. All right, say the password. <laughs> Who are the Patriots? Who are the Patriots? Answer me! Um... The Alamo? Why'd she stop playing and then shoot? To confuse them. There is your answer. Meanwhile, Snake's forgotten what the mission was. Yeah, I love I love how her hair physics go nuts when she takes off the helmet. Fucking music. It's just staring. <laughs> the name's Eva. Mm hmm. Nice to meet you. Yep. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is a real video game, by the way. Oh, boobs, huh? This wasn't part of the plan. What happened to Adam? What's your code name? It's Snake. Snake, huh? Well, I'm Eva. Are you here to tempt me? You're making a Bible re what reference on, Adam? on Easter? Colonel Volgan is a very suspicious man. He decided Adam wasn't the right person for this mission. And you were? Yes. Why? Because I can do things he can't. I heard you used to be a codebreaker for the NSA. I was. Four years ago, I defected to the Soviet Union with Adam. Mauser military. The broom handle. It packs quite a punch. Nice to have when you're on a bike. You held it sideways and used the muzzle jump to create a horizontal sweep. That was impressive. Bet you've never seen that technique in the West. It's imitation, isn't it? Yeah. It's a Chinese Type 17 pistol. Around here, even that's hard to come by. Don't worry, though. The one I've got for you is American-made. Forty-five, huh? 
Hmm. Incredible. Do you like it? The feeding ramp is polished to a mirror sheen. The slide's been reinforced, and the interlock with the frame is tightened for added precision. The sight system is original, too. The thumb safety is extended to make it easier on the finger. A long type trigger with non slip grooves. A ring hammer. The base of the trigger guard's been filed down for a higher grip. And not only that, nearly every part of this gun has been expertly crafted and customized. Good thing it wasn't loaded. Where did you get something nice. like this? I grabbed it from a Western Munitions Armory. It probably used to belong to one of your officers, and there are more where that came from. Don't dry fire guns, okay? <laughs> and don't do it a you second had this time. You didn't you? <laughs> Just listen to it. Better take this too. What's that? A disguise to make you look like a scientist. A disguise? Yes. You're here to rescue Sokolov, right? Sokolov's still safe then. Yes. He's being forced to continue his work on the Shagohat. Where? At the lab. They've got a whole army of scientists there developing new weapons. Security is tight, but if you disguise yourself as a scientist, you might be able to sneak in. Yeah, he's got the scientist look and demeanor. Can we get Sokolov out of there? We'll see, won't we? Tell me how to get to the lab. The safest way in is from the rear. First, you'll need to head north through the jungle. You'll come to a heliport used for shipping materials. Pass the heliport and continue north and there will be a large crevice. Descend into that area and you'll reach a cave. Move through the cave and you will arrive at a mangrove swamp. The fucking camera. After the swamp, there'll be a warehouse. Always at boob height. Make your way through the warehouse and you'll come out just south of the lab. Got it. And just what are you doing there? <laughs> In close range combat, a knife can sometimes be more useful than a gun. By doing this, I'll be able to hold a knife at the same time and still keep the gun steady. That way, I can instantly switch between a gun battle and a knife fight. What a cool gun. Just destroys the right. grip with this Let's knife. Let's get going. Wait a minute. Door. What now? You must be tired. Why don't you take a little rest? I'll be fine. I did You'll get... never make it in your condition. I did get bit by King Crowbar like 10 minutes ago. It's a jungle out there. There's still an hour before dawn. It's dangerous to be out in the jungle at night without a guide. What about you? I have to get back. I can't be gone for too long. Why is I'll start everything... to suspect something. It's blue because it's nighttime. Night is blue. Don't worry. I'll keep you updated over the radio. That's it? My orders are to provide you with information. Nothing more. Hmm. You look disappointed. All right, then. I'll do something special for you. I'll stand watch until dawn. Now be a good boy and lie down. Yes, ma'am. What's the matter? I don't know you well enough to trust you. How well do you have to know me to trust me? I don't know if I can trust anybody. I'm not your therapist, dude. Just came here to give you some intel. Gonna get that? Okay, but don't listen in. God. Talk to my She's friends. right, Snake. You should get some sleep. Although, in your condition, you really ought to be back in the ICU. Whenever you save the game and quit, you'll go to sleep. Oh. Sleeping allows you to gain back stamina naturally. Oh. Depending on how long you sleep, you may also recover naturally from sickness and injury. Forgot about that. When you're tired or hurt, the best thing to do is just get some sleep. So do yourself a favor and take a nap. Doctor's orders, okay? Yeah, okay. That is a fun detail. 
that if you're hurt in a bad way, you could save the game and quit and leave the game for a while. When you come back, you might be better. <laughs> like, it's great. Ugh. This game uses the internal clock of the PS2 for a bunch of things. Yeah, well, yeah. I think that was a hardware limitation, not a feature with MGS4, but... He's sleeping. Liam, how you doing? Is there an actual only time limit? No. Yeah, there's a ton of hidden stuff in this game. What are you doing, Ava? What are you doing? Wow. Huh? 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 What's the matter? We're surrounded. I see four of them. They're gonna laugh at me again, aren't they? We've got company. It's the Ocelot <laughs> unit. Let's get out of here. Hurry! That's the one that always gets me. <laughs> Don't forget your gear. Snake, please. Here, give me a hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh. oh, shit, I can get a new rat down there. We can use this to get to the basement. It's not really a basement. It's just a crawl space, but... I'll get past them on my bike. I'll call you later. Okay. I'll keep them busy. It's down horrendous. Huh? Don't go dying on me now. Uh, don't you boobs when you... When, when you boobs. Oh. All right. Okay. Great. Good. His first kiss. Yeah, I know. Oh, there's eight of them. Um. And whoop. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So if you stay in there, they bust in and it's a bad time. I'm on the hunt for a new rat. So. If anyone sees any. Rude. Hey! Don't do that! He turned into a bed! We fighting some kind of warlock major? I don't understand! What? Not hmm. here? He's not here? Keep looking. Boom! Uh. Okay, let's take a look at what we got. Yeah, there we go. So it's that cutscene that gives you your Mark II back. So that's for your non-lethals. Uh, well, this just has a large quantity of metal fragments. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, could throw some snakes at them. Well, they're not alive. Just, just, you know, just in, just in case, maybe smoke grenades. Uh, yeah, that's all fine. Okay. Yeah, I should update my camo. You right. Good old Splitter. Spent a lot of the game with Splitter. That's probably good. Might just hang out here for a sec. I don't remember where they all go off to. Eh. They're just running around. Or I could scooch back. Where's the, uh... Yeah. Let's go back this way. Good old reticulated spines. I say we kill him? Well, Ocelot's not gonna like that. Uh... Meh. 
Oh. Well, that's gonna camouflage me great. Ooga booga. Now, if they see me, they'll be too scared to shoot. Yeah. My sight. My sight. My s move. Stop saying move. Meh. Thanks for the raid. Oh, God. How you doing? Uh, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. That back on. Put the... That looks pretty good. Ooh. Desert Tiger. Nice. That's pretty good. Army of two minus one. Uh, where is this? He 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 he. Ho 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 ho. Hi. Shit. Where do they see me? Stop throwing stuff. You didn't see nothing. Um. I knew there was one on the roof. I just thought he was on the other corner. That's my bad. There's one up in that corner. Oh. Oh, I can't bend far enough down. Uh, I thought it'd be nice to have a vantage point, but it kind of sucks up here. Two of four, four. There's nobody here. Everyone's here. No one here after all. Uh, yeah. Oh, that. Where did that come from? That didn't go well. Okay. Where's he hiding? That was also bad. They're all right beneath me, so if I can just... What? Why didn't that stun them? Shit. Nope. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Okay. okay. Nope. I got one of them. Oh, I got one of them. Uh. Hello. Eat. Shit. Wait. Nope. What's wrong? What? Hey. Uh, Don't worry about it. Shit. My aim's bad. Uh, Where did he go? Well, that went well. Smart crew they got. Yeah. He doesn't train them to be good soldiers. He trains them to laugh at his jokes. And to come when he meows. Do they have friendly fire? Don't know. Oh boy, a ration. Okay, one more lad. Where is he? He could be anywhere around here. I gotta be a stealthy, stealthy boy. Uh, uh. There's goodies in there. I'll wait till they're all down. Where are you? He's gotta be over here if you didn't get distracted by all the other shenanigans. Oh, you press the button. Yeah, so I'm playing on the PS3, which has the same thing. There he is. So the PS3 had the same um, pressure-sensitive buttons that hardly any games used, and they got rid of it for the PS4. I want to try to sneak up on him and grab him, but... Well, unless... Maybe I can grab him if there's a hidey hole there. I think there might be. Yeah. 
I didn't know that until I played MGS2. But yeah, not a lot of games use them. Not a, it's weirdly not a thing that Sony like advertised. I don't know if they'll see me crawling out of this, but I'm gonna try. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, well, that works. <laughs> I wanted to try to grab him and interrogate him, because I don't know if they have anything for you. Yeah, I don't know how the 360 version works. Probably a bit of a mess. I got injured! Oh boy! So when part of your health bar is red, you basically can't heal that naturally over time. I think over time, the red part does shrink. I don't remember, but... Uh, suffering from a gunshot wound. Oh boy, stop moving. Where is it? Oh, he shot me right in the back of the arm. Oh. Well, that sucks. Ugh. That's rough, buddy. Let's get that out of you. Uh, you gotta get it out of there with a knife. That's the first step. Um, stop the bleeding, disinfect it, put a bandage on there. Good as new. Oh. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Oh no, oh no, snake, oh. Oh, he's just really going to town in there. That, there's gotta be a better way, buddy. Yeah, it looks like you made it way, way worse. There it is. He's got it. He can fix all injuries with a cigar. That's true. I think he can disinfect with a cigar. By just jamming it in there. Can we give him a magnet on a string? God, I hope. Wow, this is so crunchy. Maybe this is why they didn't include Secret Theater, because that is... real crunch. That's like... 10p. Good as new! Ray. Get a pair of tweezers, my man! What are you doing? Bam. Bam. Bada. Bam. 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 Are there any other goodies I should grab while I'm here? Uh, you'll be surprised how many playthroughs I've had where this Ocelot Showdown goes worse than this one. This went pretty well, all things considered. Very action Amer action hero of movie action movie hero of him, yes. Yeah, he just gets in there. Huh. I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's it! He saved the fucking bullet. That's the stance. I don't think so. Bro! What? A female spy? This bitch is wearing perfume. Stay where you are. I've had enough of your judo. A betitted spy? I see you've got yourself a single action army. That's right. There'll be no accidents this time. You call that an accident? Well, it wouldn't have happened if you hadn't been showing off. What did you say? It's a nice gun. I'll give you that. But the engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. Unless you were planning to auction it off as a collector's item. <sighs> oh, shit. And you're forgetting one more very basic thing. You don't have what it takes to kill me. We'll see. That would probably hurt real bad. Oh fuck yeah, oh fuck yeah, this part. Ah! 
Six shots. That thing only carries six shots. The Makarov carries eight. You have to get a feel for how many you have left. I love this game. <laughs> Just this is a high-class weapon. It's not meant for shooting people. Damn. This isn't over yet. Don't. Why? Time He's paradox. Still young. <laughs> You'll regret stopping me. Yes, I will. Damn it! I've got to get back before he does. Why does it make like an animal screaming noise when that happens? And, and we're back. <laughs> just, just. Oh, yeah. God, that cutscene is good. She went beast mode. She sure did. The fact she, she flips down, lands on the bike, and then just goes from the bike being stationary to flipping it up on his face, leaving a tire print. Damn it. And he's just like, his face is numb. It's just like. Oh, man. Fuck! I'm bad at stairs! Roar like a dinosaur button? They seem to. Careful. Alright. Yay! Oh, nice. AK-47! Hooray! Why? Hey. Why is he around the stairs like that? Like what? Like he has to shit? That's just how he does? That's that's naked snake you're talking to. The stair climb. You ever you ever go up the stairs and you're like, wait, I forgot something. I gotta go back down. You're like, oh, but I don't need that today. Nah, it's probably best not to have it. I really like that the uh, the knife actually is removed from the thing on his chest when you have it equipped. The little holster he has for it. It's good. Have it and not need it, then not have it and need it. Exactly. AK 47. Mm hmm. Yeah, speaking of 47, uh, Hitman last year, they released an unlockable gun that has this like floral engraving pattern on it. And all the fucking comments were like, nice gun, but the tactical... The engraving gives you no tactical advantage whatsoever. I'm like... The MGS3 memes will never die. I love it. Is the rat back? Is he safe? <gasps> there he is. There you are, little one. You're coming with me. Rat. Little Sokolov 2. Two Sokolov 2. Whimpering man in the corner. Companion for the whole game. I don't know about that. The three slots for live animals comes in handy, but we'll keep them around for a bit. I should eat something, though. Uh, but what? What should I eat? One of my many reticulated pythons? Asked about flavor, but wasn't answered. Not eaten yet said to be not bad. Tasted bad. Not eaten yet tastes unknown. I love this. I asked. I asked. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get in there. Okay. Snake, you're back in America. You're in a hotel. You don't. You want a hand, a hamburger? Okay. I can't complain. <laughs> sure. Sure. Yeah. Look at him. 
Look at him. He's just a happy little guy. He's just hanging out. He can kill an elephant. How many diseases does this man have? Every disease. He's that one Simpsons episode where Mr. Burns has so many diseases they get stuck in the door. Three Stooges style. Oh. He looks happy. I think uh, some of those animations were made for trailers. And they just reused them. For that. There's a trailer where he's eating a snake. And the camera's panning around him all dramatic. Indestructible. Well, no, in fact, the slightest breed. Indestructible. Slightest breeze. Even. Oh. So red next to yellow. He's a mellow fellow. Yellow next to black. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. A snakey! Swamp. Kiss him back. Oh, I had that all wrong. I see you've caught a coral snake. I, I mean, a milk snake. The milk snake closely resembles the coral snake, but it's actually not venomous. Well, that's my knife. Even so, you'll still take damage if it bites you, so don't get too close. Oh. Hmm. So is there a way to tell the difference between a milk snake and a coral snake? It's pretty difficult. They really do look almost exactly alike. I guess if I had to pick something, I'd say it's that the milk snake is much less aggressive. Okay. Red than yellow. Ah, I just thought of a better way. You're going to love this. She's just what? the doctor. Eat it. Eat it? Yeah. The guide says milk snakes don't taste very good. Is that right? But if I've already caught and eaten it, <gasps> what does it matter which kind of snake it was? It doesn't, does it? Shoot. I thought I had a good idea. I already ate it. Hey, Snake. Remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that before. Why the grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're gonna keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? That's the idea. Why would you want to do that? Sometimes a knife works better in close proximity encounters. So I equip both at the same time. That way I can switch back and forth in an instant. Badass. So that's that. CQC. CQC. Snake, you said Eva said her Mauser was a Type 17, right? Yeah, what about it? That model was produced in the 1920s in a weapons lab in the Shangxi province in China. The cartridge part sticks out lower than the original to accommodate 45 caliber rounds. The barrel and chamber are a little bit thicker, too. But most telling of all, it's got Chinese characters engraved on both sides of the frame like you saw. And that firing stance Eva was talking about where you hold the gun horizontally? That's a trademark of the Chinese. Just like you were saying, when you're firing in full auto mode, the muzzle jump effect gives you a horizontal strafing motion. They say it's especially deadly in indoor and close-range mop-up actions. The Japanese called it bandit shooting and used to dread it. Makes you wonder where she learned to shoot like that. Thanks for all your fucking gun lore, Kojima. You know that army motorcycle that Eva was riding? That's a replica of a German model. A replica? Yeah. After World War II, the Soviets confiscated an entire assembly line from a German motorcycle factory. Machines and all. And then they took it back with them and started producing replicas? Exactly. Originally, that motorcycle was designed to be used with a sidecar attached. That means it's got enough power to drag a 200-plus pound sidecar around. So that's how she could pull off all those crazy stunts. Uh-huh. Of course, it takes a lot of skill to be able to control that much power. That Eva chick is something else. Does the... is the, uh, the lore tidbit about is the gun called the patriot i don't remember uh the boss's gun is that only post game because if it's only post game i just want to tell everyone what it is because it's like my favorite thing in this game because I, I think you get it from beating the game and it's only available in new game plus well it's not really new game plus there's just you can have stuff and bring it with you gotcha so the boss's gun remember 
Remember how uh, when when the the thing crashed down and we found the boss and the horse stepped on her hand and she was shooting the gun that sent the bullets tumbling through the air in a way that makes zero sense. So that gun um, has infinite ammo because it has this double barrel situation that looks like an infinity, and the chambers feed into each other, if I remember correctly. And then that, and then that, gi that gives. So if you use that gun, you have infinite ammo. Mm -hmm, yeah. No, 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 no. Don't think. Don't think with your brain. Think with your heart. It's called a C mag. This is the part where I wiki dump like Kojima. Go for it. Are you f serious? Yeah. That's not how it works. I don't remember why it shoots the bullets out in a way that's awful and would make the bullets spread just like fucking everywhere. But yeah, I don't know. What's wrong with that? Yeah, so she doesn't need a bandana to have infinite ammo because her gun just is designed to have infinite ammo. It's a sawed off barrel. The infinite symbol is on your bandana. Yeah. The tumbling happens because of the shortened barrel. They're wildly inaccurate and they would tumble. Oh, okay. My heart says it's dumb too. The mag's infinite shape design gives you infinite bullets. Keyholing, it's a sign of bad quality in a gun and ammo. But the boss loves it. She had to nerf herself. Um. Uh. Wait, it's raining here. Does that mean it's finally time for raindrop? It's like one of two places in the game where it's decent. An infinite amount of bullets? Don't worry about it. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That is why she's. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do it again. Do it again. Come on, buddy. Let me hear you say, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. Wait, there's stuff in the water near him. You're not going to attack me if I get near you, will you? Uh, yeah, he's fucking off. There goes King K. Rule, King of the Jungle. Nice, good. Bullets full. <gasps> Little bug, or is that a is that a tree frog? It might be a tree frog. Hold on. Oh, baby, come to Papa. Sorry. I need to do this for the theme song. This is important. Ah, shit. Hey, real quick. Uh, did you did you hear there was like a kiss sound? A little like like. Um. Good news about this lake. It has leeches. <laughs> there he. Oh, I grabbed it on my fucking wrist. Ugh. No, I grabbed it on my like hip. Oh, that's worse. Uh Well, do you know how to get rid of a leech? Uh, Stam will decrease while leeches are attached. Remove leeches. Burn them off with a cigar. Yeah, you gotta eat it. Get him on there. Good. I have to eat the tree frog. Oh, <gasps> there he is. Uh, poison dart frog. Well, if he's got poison in the name, that probably makes me invulnerable to poison. Build up an immunity. It's poisonous. Oh. Uh, hey, emetophobes, real talk. I received food poisoning. He's gonna start having a bad time. Cigar the poison. Is that a thing I can do? <laughs> Is that a thing I can do? Oh, wait, I can do. Oh, I can see Xanthus. Wait, no, we're good. Never mind. We're fine. No, 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 no. We should be good. I cured it. We're fine. No, it's not poops. It's the other end. Hey, paramedic. I ate a tree frog like the theme song told me to. Wow, you caught a coral snake. The coral snake is a venomous snake that originally grows mm. from the Americas. 
Its Heavy venom energy. is a very potent neurotoxin, so don't let it bite you. If you do get bitten, go into the survival viewer right away and use Cure to neutralize the poison with a serum injection. Mm -hmm. The colorful red and black patterns on Never the Never use a match or hot spot to remove a leech or tick. Apparently, hmm. the bright flashy colors and pattern let other animals know that it carries a deadly poison. That keeps them from attacking. Shoot yourself with a tiny bolt to build up resistance to larger ones. the colors of known poisonous animals as a defense. See, by mimicking other poisonous creatures, they increase their chances of survival. There is another non-poisonous snake called the milk snake that borrows its coloring from the coral snake. Uh-huh. You're not even listening, are you? No. <sighs> okay, we'll talk about something you're interested in then. The taste? Ooh, yes. that's bad squeaks. It says here that coral snakes are pretty good in a snaky kind of way. A snaky kind of way, huh? Is that what it says in the book? I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. The Siberian ink cap is a mushroom from the I want the to talk about the tree family. frog I ate. Its life cycle is transitory. As soon as the spores mature, the cap starts to turn black, liquefy, and melt away. And that's why they call it an ink cap? That's right. It doesn't really turn to liquid, but you get the idea. In its immature state, before it melts away, it's valued as a source of food. I ate some, but they weren't that good. Really? Just be sure not to eat them while you're drinking alcohol. Why's that? Ink caps contain coprin, which inhibits the function of aldehyde dehydrogenase. This prevents the body from breaking down alcohol, causing oh. a buildup of acetaldehyde. Meaning? Meaning it will give you the hangover from hell. Oh. Wait a minute. What? You think I'd drink alcohol in the middle of a mission? Wouldn't you? Hell no. Well, I'm knocking a shot back now. What? Just teasing you. No. Or is she? Oh, come on. Where's your sense of humor? I need a drink. Shots, shots, shots. I don't think you need it in your inventory. I think you just need to have previously gotten one and eaten one. I see you've got yourself a ration. It's Rations just random which one she'll talk about. Soviet soldiers. I've heard some nasty stories about how they taste. It looks like the rumors are true. Great. Hey, you should be grateful. Those things are designed to last. No matter how long you keep a ration, it will never go the first place. Oh. And they're surprisingly good for you, too. I'd take a snake over this any day, even if it's a little rotten. You are hopeless. Snake, that's the home to the otten frog. No. Don't the remind otten me. The frog is a large, corpulent species of frog. Oh, no. They're known as a delicacy, so it might be worth catching them for food. The otten frog was originally found only on Amami Oshima in Japan. Frogs usually have four toes on their front legs. He's but a the person. The frog is unique in that it has five. It's got five toes, I like me. I tried one. It was pretty tasty. I can see why it's a delicacy. I'm glad to hear it. I hear that in Japan, otten frog sashimi and sukiyaki are popular dishes. Otten frog really? sashimi. Yeah. Japan, huh? That place is starting to sound better and better. Kojima over here writing furiously. Gif of the paper on fire. And then Snake became a weeb and wanted to move to Japan. Snake, that area is inhabited by the poison dart frog. The poison dart frog is native to the tropical rainforests of Central and South America. They normally grow between two and five centimeters in length, but for some reason the ones in that area seem to be much bigger than that. Poison dart frogs are known to carry a potent neurotoxin called pomeliotoxin. Long ago, people used the poison to coat their arrows for hunting. Watch out, because if you eat one, you'll get food poisoning. Yeah, I know. How? You really want to hear? Never mind. I got it. Hey. God, I love how there's different dialogue if you've already done stuff like that. I'm sure if you haven't eaten it, he'd be like... What if I eat it anyway? Yeah. Whoop. Yeah. They shit myself. We're swimming. It's really loud. No, more fucking leeches. Oh, that's a gator. Um. 
Forget where all the stuff is in the swamp to pick up. <sighs> Shit. Yeah. She had to keep it. I know. She's like, I need to stick around. Or you're just gonna murder yourself. Is fishes... Can I stab the fi Can I shoot the fishes? Underwater. Like shooting fish in a lake. I'm a master of stealth. Oh, that was my trank gun. Oh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh no, oh no. Snake is a... Yeah, the gears can kill you. Tunok, Tunok, Tun? Tunok and Ray, hey! I might as well sit here once so you can see what this does. I'm sleeping with the fishes, literally. <laughs> and the fishes are also sleeping. It's nice. We're all hanging out. Oh my god. Time Iradox. Oh god. I see it now. Time Paradox. Did you forget you think you were far enough away? I thought I was far enough away. Anyway, put me back in. Boom! Good thing that's not what actually happened. And thank god this game has... Effectively auto saves. I think it just grabs the last. Yeah. So if you first walk in, then you lose whatever was there. No, no. I just want to grab the stuff, buddy. Don't worry about me. E. Hey, how you doing? No, 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 no. I just want to grab whatever. I forgot what this was. Like a grenade or something. Okay, fine. Keep it, you mystical creature. Sheesh. Uh, uh. Eh, that's fine. I'll grab another fish. Let's go fishing. It was extra, it was AK ammo. Uh, I'm fine. It's no big deal. Um. Why do I seem to remember there being something at the bottom down here somewhere? Am I making that up or is there something? Oh, you can surface very fast if you need to. You getting the hat? I definitely am getting the hat, if I can remember where it is. It's up on one of the ledges somewhere. No, just leeches? Cool. Uh... Got him. Ooh! That fish was made of two fish. I think that's it. Yeah. Let's get rid of those leeches. Um how my oh. Okay. Right. So we got we got um Oh, he's real in there, ain't he? Oh. Oh, that's bad. Um and then where's the uh I don't need to do this. So for anyone that's like, I fucking hate this, I'm sorry, I just find it hilarious. Okay. Oh, that one's on my fucking thumb? Oh, And this guy? Just, just right on my ass. Just fucking sucking out all the juice out of my tasty ass. How dare you. How dare you. Um, have a cigar. Have a cigar. Congrats. That's my shooting thumb. Okay, oh god. Oh, there's a lot of gators here. <laughs> oh god. I'm in danger. Um, so I need to get up onto that tree and then zigzag. Okay. And that's, is that from back over there? Uh, yeah, it looks like I can get over there from there. Gonna be flat in a day. That's what happened before he got put into Smash Bros. Mm. 
Meow. Damn it! Goddamn leeches. Oh, I gotta go under. If you put a fire near them, it sucks the oxygen around them, they unlatch because they're suffocating. Gotcha. So you don't burn them directly. That's interesting. I don't expect to go swimming in leech-filled lakes, but now I know. Thank you. Uh, have a cigar. Oh, I don't... Don't like where that cursor is. I don't like where that cursor is. You just... You, you just... You, you just really gonna... Right in there, huh? Oof. That's rough, buddy. That is, that is a rough time. Hmm. I don't like this episode of House. Get rid of it. Goodbye. Uh, eat that. That's tasty. That's a good snake. Yep. Okay. Oh, a required Kodak call. While I never. Snake, are you there? What? Eva. Did you miss me? Oh yeah. Did you make it without any trouble? No one saw me. So you're back with Volgan. In a matter of speaking. What about the boss? Yeah, she's here too. Better be careful. Thanks, I will. The boss and I get along pretty well, though. I forget which state I is ID. Traders have a lot in common. Is that Idaho or Why Indiana? Why would anyone want to defect? Betraying your country like that, I, I just don't get it. Are you talking about the boss? Why'd you do it? Weren't you born and raised in America? That's Idaho. Yes, in a small rural town. I never even knew there were other countries, other cultures, other ways of thinking. Until I went to work for the NSA. And I learned about Japan. And one day, I found I'd lost faith in the things I'd been taking for granted. What did you see? What was it that made you want to change sides? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. I saw the universe. The universe? Not the actual universe. The universe as the intelligence community sees it. I realized that the gravity in this universe was holding me back. That's all. People and countries are both changed by their environment. Gotcha. And by the times. That sounds like what the boss was saying. There's a world of difference between this country and America. But it's only a difference of position, a difference of perspective. Coming here made me realize something. Half of what I'd been told was a complete and utter lie. The other half was a conveniently constructed lie. Where's the truth then? It's hidden in the lies. Are you lying too? Who knows? I've been trained to make even the most severe falsehood sound like the honest truth. Weren't you? No. I believe because I have to. Even if it is a lie. That's part of my mission. I'll have to remember that. If you need me, give me a call on the radio. My frequency is 142.52. See ya. See you later, Ava. Hey, Ava. How you doing? That area is known as Chorny Prud. The name means something like the Black Shore in Russian. It got its name from the deep swamp that covers the area. Hmm. The crocodiles in that swamp are extremely vicious. Apparently, they've already chewed up a bunch of soldiers out on patrol. Now, no one even dares to go near the it swamp. Is Troy. They said that most mm, of the soldiers who that. were killed were attacked from behind while they were in the water. You be careful out there. Oh, I already know all about that. How do you? Don't ask me about it. Uh, okay. I see you've caught yourself an arowana. Fish! The arowana is an ancient fish that lives in tropical freshwater areas. Because of its large size, I don't think you'll be able to capture one alive. Ancient fish like the arowana are living fossils. They've hardly changed their form since the Devonian and Jurassic periods. Other ancient fish besides the arowana include the coelacanth, the starling, and the knifefish. Almost all knife organisms fish. on Earth have evolved in various shapes and forms, but these fish have kept the same form for hundreds of millions of years. Baffling, isn't it's it? It's already perfect. Sure. Well, I can see you're not interested. Not at all. I'm fascinated by ancient fish. Why? They're supposed to be huge, aren't they? You're wondering whether they'd make a good meal. Yeah. So, 
do they? The guide says they taste just fine for a fish. Great. Let's go. Hey, Snake, remember back at the abandoned factory when you whittled the grip Is of that 45 down? Yeah. I've never heard of a customization like that we before. We already talked about Why this. The grip? To fit it with a knife. A knife? You're going to keep the knife and the gun both at the ready? They may... That's the idea. Why would you and then I do died. That? Oh. Sometimes that not... the knife works better Does in close count? proximity. Yeah, it's fine. Secrecy. Knife gun. Snake. You... Okay. Let's so just redo those conversations. You know that army? It's fine. I heard you fought against KGB troops in the Virtuous Mission. But this time you're up against Spetsnaz. Spetsnaz is the special forces unit of GRU. The intelligence it's wing of the Soviet look. Defense Ministry's General Staff Office. Minions. Spetsnaz troops undergo rigorous training in all types of special ops, from assassination and demolition to intelligence gathering. That and Volgan's loaded, man. His unit is one of the best equipped in the entire Soviet Union, if not the best. I heard the enemies you encountered in the Virtuous Mission were only carrying weapons like AKs and grenades. Well, it ain't that simple anymore. In addition to AKs, some of the patrols you'll encounter might be equipped with Scorpion submachine guns and shotguns. The Scorpion no, it is even squeaks. lighter than the AK, making it much easier to handle. Basically, a guy with a Scorpion is not going to miss you as often as with an AK. The shotgun is a powerful weapon. One blast is enough to yeah, floor you and you're likely to be seriously wounded. Watch for that, man. Yeah, it's just in the original. It might be in subsistence as well. I don't remember. Never played through subsistence. Should save. Do you want to save? Yeah, might as well. Um, there's a part of the game. I mean, I'll talk about when we get to it, but there's a lot of weird stuff in this game that has just not necessarily survived every incarnation of it. It was vaporware. I think it might have even been vaporware at the time, which is why they included Snake, it. Have you heard of it came from outer space? Yeah, you told me already. So this astronomer sees a meteor, but it's really an alien spaceship, right? Mm -hmm. And the aliens start replacing the townspeople with clones and forcing them to help repair the ship. The 3D effects were quite realistic. I've got all the real I can handle here in the jungle. No, you don't get it. Precisely because it's realistic, with the images jumping out of the screen at you, it makes for a nice escape from reality. I have to admit it made my eyes tired, but it was really intense. Unfortunately, they don't make very many of those movies anymore. When did it come out? I was still in college, so probably about ten years ago? Guess I'm out of luck then. You know, they're coming out with household versions of video cassette recorders. That'll be the day. One day you'll be able to see old movies anytime you want. It'll be like having a movie theater in your own home. Really? It's like if you had a record with movie film etched onto it instead of music. It'll work the same way. Laser disc. Just kidding. No, really. And someday they might make movies where you control the characters yourself. Sounds like magic. It'll happen. Make sure you stay alive to see it, Snake. Snake the gamer. Never gonna catch on. I don't know about all that. Um. Is that? No. All right. Why do I think there was a trap here? Am I thinking of a different area okay don't fuck this up carefully care I thought he would automatically okay well oh uh, hey bud how you doing I'm just gonna swim past you that cool I thought he murdered me <laughs> I thought he was like I thought the game was like, nope, you're dead. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Shit. Swimming in shallow water sucks. Eh. Damn it. I'll see if to mash the circle button to swim. For some reason. Which is why it sounds like this. Otherwise, it's just... That's all you get out of one press if you hold it. So I just end up mashing. A kiss from a leech, baby. I compare you to a kiss from a leech in the swamp. Ooh. The more I get at you, the stranger it feels. Yeah, and now that your chorney is prude, 
The snake is going to get a cool hat. Do I have enough grip gauge for this? Wait, like, actually, though, do I have enough grip gauge for this? That's really far. Oh, God. Okay, line it up. And it looks good. Good. Oh, that replenishes your grip gauge. That's realistic. I play video games for their realism. Careful. We're almost there. This is worth it. This is, uh, honestly, S plus tier equipment that kind of breaks the entire video game and just makes it a joke. Which is why it's hiding all the way up here. Remember Croc on the PS1? <laughs> I mean, if only. Uh, it's an item, right? Crocodile cap. Now, to be with my own kind. Hey, brother. What's the news, brother? Ah, ah shit. Fuck. Oh, God. He didn't like that. Hit us with a yeah! Yep. 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 Yeah. Probably want to stay before getting eaten alive. Oh, so I don't have to do that again? Yeah, it's not a bad idea. I don't plan to be safe scumming this game, but, um... At the rate that I'm playing through it... You want to save? I can hear about more movies, too. What's the cap do? Uh, it makes me look like a gator. What do you mean, what does it do? It's cool. If you wear it during a boss fight, they're like, oh, damn, where'd you get that? From the badass store? Hey, Snake, have you ever seen Forbidden Planet? No. It does actually have, have some utility, but it's about this it's expedition mostly that goes to the planet Altair 4. Altair? Fast spaceship. When they arrive, they meet the survivor of the last expedition, Dr. Morbius. Dr. What now? Dr. Morbius was exploring the planet along with his daughter, Altera and the versatile robot the robot. Ignoring the doctor's warnings, the please. expedition team is suddenly attacked by an invisible creature called the monster from the id. The special effects they used for the science stuff were really neat. I wish I had a robot like Robbie that could make anything I wanted it to. Rob the robot. I'm more interested in that invisible monster. If I were invisible, I wouldn't have to bother hiding. I'm still or at a bore. camouflage. Maybe someday you'll be able to turn invisible. Yeah, that'll be the day. That's as plausible as movies where you play as the protagonist. Hey, Sigint, I'm wearing a crocodile hat. A cap shaped like a crocodile head, you say? Yeah. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. You know, animal disguises are one of the oldest tricks in the book in the intelligence world. I don't know whether it's true or not, but I've heard that during World War II, the OSS used to use cow suits. Supposedly, they sent agents out to hide in herds of real cows so they could spy on enemy units as they passed by. Nowadays, I guess most people wouldn't even give a crocodile-shaped cap a second look. They think it was just a gag item. But if you use it the right way, it can be an effective weapon for spying. I gotta hand it to you, Snake. You're one sharp guy. You okay, Snake? Now forget it. Huh? I think he just thought it was funny. Snake, look at your body. Yep, looking good. Not there. Then where? See the leeches? Leeches? Yeah, you've got leeches all over you. Leeches will sometimes looking attach themselves good. to you if you spend a long time in the water or the swamp. Ugh. When you've got leeches on you, they'll suck your blood, causing you to lose stamina. You should get rid of them as soon as possible. To get rid of leeches, go into Cure in the Survival Viewer and press your cigar into them. Or, if you use the insecticidal bug juice ahead of time, mm. the leeches won't bother you as long as the bug juice is in effect. Oh yeah, I did get some bug juice. 
It's honestly a good idea. Uh, yeah. Get that. And, um, wait, wait. And, um, bugs. Give me bugs. Eat the bug juice. Bug repellent. Wait, I gotta I got keep the crop, croc hat on. I wanna be where the gators are. I made it. Wait, is this the bank I came in on? Shit, it probably was. I think I went the wrong way. Uh, map. No, wait, no. I think that's good. Behind me, I haven't been to? Look at Snake with the croc hat? What do you mean? He's just happy to be here. I love that it has, like, physics. <laughs> just... It didn't need to do that. They didn't need to do any of this. <laughs> this is Snake. Which is realized. I don't know, right? Wait, so... Was that this bit here? Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, we're going... No, we're going the right way. This is exactly where I want to be. Is that another ink cap? I don't need a stinking ink cap. Hmm. 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 What? Yub nub? What the hell? It made Hideo chuckle so let's stay there. So you've got your uniform and your face paint, but that alone isn't enough to make for good camouflage. Camouflage means blending in with nature. To make your disguise complete, you've got to keep a low profile and avoid overt movements. As long as you've got the uniform and face paint working for you, and you're lying flat keeping still, you won't have to worry about being spotted from a distance. On the flip side, dancing around your enemy in perfect camo is still a dead giveaway. So if the enemy's looking for you and he's getting too close for comfort, just lay low for the time being. I see you found some Siberian ink cap mushrooms. Mm -hmm. The Siberian ink cap is a is mushroom the from one? the ink cap family. Is the same one? It's life cycle. Yeah. Okay. Right. I see you've got your. Yep. Snake, what are you? How does it look? It looks cool. Huh? It looks cool on you. It does? Yeah. I don't think cool is the right word. Why? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? Don't you think it looks silly? Doesn't it make you laugh? Aren't you going to ask me what the hell I was thinking? No. Huh. I think it really does look good. <laughs> it reminds me of the alligator people. Oh, the... what? The alligator people. It's a science fiction movie. You've never heard of it? No. Oh, well, you should see it sometime. It's about this guy who gets hurt in a car accident and tries to heal his wounds by injecting himself with a crocodile serum, but then his head turns into a crocodile head. <laughs> Movies used to be good. You look just like him with the mask on. That's awesome. Right. Huh? He just wants someone to be like, what's wrong with you? He lives for that. <laughs> They're not giving it Looks like it you've to got him. rid of all the ocelots. Dead. Yeah. Now proceed with the rescue of Sokolov. According to Eva, you should start by going to the crevice to the north and... Can we trust her? What's that? Eva is with the KGB, isn't she? Can I really believe what she says? How do I know she won't double-cross me? There are no guarantees in espionage, Snake. Only calculated guesses. At this point in time, the KGB stands nothing to gain by stabbing us in the back. So you're saying I can trust her? I'm saying the chance that she'll betray you is low. Uh, it's an amazing name, Lubin. Of course, we checked the route she gave you against our own data. It looks like a pretty solid infiltration route. It makes good use of weak spots in the enemy's defenses. You shouldn't have any problems. Follow the route Eva showed you and proceed with the mission. Roger. First, enter the cave through the crevice. Eva said it was to the north, so head that way. Got it. That swamp seems pretty deep. It's probably deep enough to dive underwater and swim around. 
press the crawl button when you're swimming on the surface to dive underwater. Where's my crawl button? The controls when you're underwater just have are legs. quite different from when you're on land. The left stick controls the direction you're facing. Mm -hmm. Press up, down, left or right to turn in that direction. Press the CQC button or the crawl button to move forward. He Each gets a new name. Mm -hmm. will move you one stroke forward. Press the button repeatedly. The to game swim just tells faster. you we designed it where you have to button you mash to move. You can also press the action button to surface in an emergency. While you're swimming, you can use the right stick to look in a different direction without changing the direction you're going. Thanks, Major. Snake, be careful. I might not have told you this yet, but now that you tell swamp me. is rigged with traps. Tell me about it. <laughs> so you know already. Yeah. Well, then you're all set. The traps in that area are set to go off when a rope stretched along the ground is disturbed. Keep a close eye on the ground and make sure you don't trip over a rope. I mean, far be it from me to call you an idiot who can't avoid even the simplest of traps, but you know... What's the matter? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> They eat the snakes. I ate a few. And then I became a reptile. I ate too many snakes. I'm seeing signs. Something's gone wrong. I think that night spent in the nuclear fallout site was a bad idea. Oh, should I pass out? Oh. Oh, goody. Yeah. What if my gator chomps through the electric fence? Chomp. Hey, paramedic. To take a rest, all you have to do is save and exit the game. The next time you load your save data and continue the game, you can catch the Tsuchinoko here. How oh. much they recover depends on how long of a rest you take. How I catch it? So the more mouse traps? I rest, the more I'll recover. That's right. If you're so exhausted <laughs> that you don't even have the strength to find food, save I don't want any spoilers, and rest, but, and you'll be um, back on your feet. Is 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 that noise in the Mario movie? The <laughs> I hope it is. Uh, eh, it's fine. You need traps. Here. By the way, Snake. What? You know the Ocelot unit commander? Ocelot? Yeah. That's not his real name, is it? I wouldn't think so. Is it a code name? You mean like Snake? Yeah. Maybe. Why? Is that strange? No, I was just wondering why he's called Ocelot. Why is that? Well, I looked it up, and it turns out the Ocelot is a wild cat whose habitat stretches from the southern U.S. down to northern Argentina. They live in a variety of different environments from tropical rainforests to savannas. The biggest ones can grow up to one meter in length. They're normally solitary How do they creatures, taste? and their diet consists mainly of small animals and fish. During the day, they sleep up in the trees, but at night... Yeah, uh, paramedic. Oh, right. So, the ocelot is an animal that lives on the American continent. But then I wondered, why would a Soviet officer be using the name of an American wildcat? Good question. Maybe it's because he's fast and agile like an ocelot. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm. But why'd you go to all the trouble of looking it up? Because I was curious. Was it helpful? Uh, sure. <laughs> also, he's called Ocelot because he likes to meow. Snake, the barbed wire in that area has a high voltage electric current running through it. Oh! A high voltage electric current. Right. Though I might have forgotten to tell you. Huh. You'll get electrocuted if you touch that barbed wire, so don't. Really? Electrify barbed wire, huh? Looks like I'll have to find another way around. That won't be necessary. It won't? Nope. Electrified barbed wire is a formidable barrier, but it's a pain in the neck to maintain. Apparently, it's always breaking down because wild animals keep running into it. Like but me. The word is, they don't have enough personnel to fix it. If you look closely at the bottom of the barbed wire, you should be able to spot a hole somewhere. Try crawling your way through there. 
Thanks, Ava. I'll be sure not to touch the electric fence. He's having a bad time. It looks like he wet himself. Uh, yeah. Enough juice will do that to you, buddy. He's having a nap. Yeah, he's fine. He's okay. He's he peed a little bit. Uh, Maverick buggy thinks for eleven months. I almost been living in the attic for a year. Yippee! Hey, hope you're enjoying it. Sign manor thanks for fifty months. Fifty months of snake eater. What more can a big boss ask for? Maybe love blooming on the battlefield. I mean, a guy uh, grabbed the boob and then got hit in the face with a motorcycle tire. So, I think love is blooming as we speak. Thank you. Thank you, Mana. Thanks for soup. I can't see anything, but I can hear the sound of those cheeks. Colonel. Gonzar, thanks for 20 months. Solid berry is my favorite state of berry. Plasma berry, not so much. Yeah, I agree with that. Tech Chemist, thanks for 61 months. Green Echo Joker. Big Cave Monster, thanks for 69 bits. Nerd! Uh, Quintus Weeks, thanks for 10 bits. Snake over the codec. Hey, baby. Snake in person. Shy, 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 shy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Matt, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream. Copenick, thanks for 20 months. And a crow fact. Crows take about 18 days to hatch. Now that Cali weather is spring again, my many hatching crows around. It is warming up around here. Corain, this thanks for three months. Enjoy your silver key. Like herding cats. And Vex Troy, thanks for soup. What's a swamp but a giant jungle soup? Can I say that better myself? Um, well, I think it's not a great place to leave things, but I think it's a decent place to leave things. We did not make that much progress today, but it's not a game I intend to really rush through. There's so much optional stuff, and I, I enjoy experiencing it. So I hope you are as well. Um, but there's like a whole big military installation after this and stuff. So if I don't stop now, it won't be for like another hour and a half or so. And uh, it's getting late. Partially, but partially. It's entirely my bad because I started late, but I had to finish getting all the emotes ready and getting this capture set up because capturing a PS3 sucks. So hope you're... Enjoying stream so far. Hope you're enjoying MGS3. This game is great. I hope you're seeing why. If you've never seen it before, it's something. And we're only just scratching the surface. I really mean it. There's a lot in this game. Um, so we will get back to this real soon. Nicole's playing Frog Detective? Shit. I do love some Frog Detective. Um, favorite game ever or gamer or maybe both. It's, it's, it's a good one. Um, Nicole is playing Frog Detective 3. Onsta is doing her color funk challenges, like she said. Who did we raid more recently? She's on the Jet Set Radio. She's doing it. Fuck, but Frog Detective, though. Damn it. Okay, well, we'll raid Nicole. We'll raid Nicole. But, um... If you're not feeling Frog Detective, go keep Onsta, go root for Onsta. Hope she does better than me. <laughs> Color Funk. Uh, I mean, I hope she goes down. Because so I need to be better in the leaderboards. Um, thank you. Uh, what, 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 what frogs do we have for Nicole? Does she have any frogs with her stuff? How t how, but how does he taste? No. There's always OS frog. Does she have big frog? I'm checking. Let me see. Let me see. Um, she has bar activate and bar iguana. That's a weird looking frog. That's the most reptile adjacent, amphibian adjacent BTTV that I see. So I'd say you can either go with that or go with uh, a good, good old OS frog. He's a good lad. Um, and uh, get frogged with the iguana. I don't know. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're doing well. Happy Easter and all the other things, Passover and stuff, still going on. Uh, be well. Thanks. Hope you hope you enjoyed streaming. Maybe I'll see you next time for more of this. Let's take care. Goodbye. See you later. Snake's fine, by the way. Don't worry about him. He's okay. See you later. Okay, they're gone. I have to save. VOD Watcher exclusive movie factoid. I almost said from Mei Ling. You want to save?
Hold on a sec. Yeah, I gotta save. Yeah, I gotta save real quick. I'm gonna put in a little save. Save Arino. I mean, I gotta keep this in the VOD. What if it's great? What if it's a good one? Probably should have done it during stream before the raid went, but you know. It's fine. I have to press a button. There. Snake, have you seen Earth versus the spider? Nope. It's about this spider that suddenly mutates into a giant monster. They bring it into the city in a state of hibernation, but it wakes up and starts wrecking the place. So why did the spider turn huge? I told you, it suddenly mutated. Yeah, right. Snake, it's people like you that take all the fun out of watching movies. Always nitpicking and taking things too seriously. Honestly, why even bother? Look, the important thing isn't that it got big. Then what is important? The fact that there's a huge spider destroying the city. Suspend your disbelief. That's the whole point of movies. Thanks, paramedic. All right. I'm out. Have a good one, Vod Watchers. Goodbye!